Howdy friends, uh, welcome back. Today I am going to be investigating the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. The murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. of Sonic the Hedgehog. Got myself a little audio feedback loop going there. Um, yeah, I mean, it seems like a fun, silly game and the title absolutely sells it in an instant. So, without further ado, let's, uh, go. Um... Yeah, I guess fair warning, I'll probably be reading all the text and trying to do character voices, but, uh, I haven't tried character voices for Sonic. Ever. So this'll be fun. Okay. Ah, phew. Made it on the train 15 minutes ahead of schedule. So far so good for my first day on the job. Oh, I totally forgot. My name tag isn't ready yet. I should make one. I'll just sign my name right here. What if I'm Sonic? Like, THE Sonic? <laughs> wouldn't that be cool? But no. I'll just sign my name here. What about Knuckles? Okay, same, same thing. I kind of figured. So they, they check for character names, which is fun. Um, I wonder, did, did they, uh, <laughs> they did not include Tails' real name, though. Miles Prower, did I spell that right? Sure, I'll be Miles Prower. Yes. Hope passengers can read my scribble. Dining car. Uh-oh, am I nervous? Is this first day on the job jitters? Working the train's dining car can't be so bad. Come on, Miles Prower, shake it off. Slap. <laughs> Miles Prower, did I, uh, just see you hitting yourself? M Mr. Conductor, sir, how are you doing this morning? Oh, quite all right myself, though feeling a bit, a little bittersweet. Uh, is everything all right? Well, truth be told, not really. Alas, today is my last day as conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years. Time for me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Oh, congratulations on retirement, sir. Thank you. My wife is very excited about it. She's already got our plane tickets to Spagonia locked. Our shower's been on the fritz, so I'm excited to use the hotels. Fa ha ha ha. I can see why his wife's excited. Enough of my quibbles. Today's your first day working in the dining car. Here's the menu for today. Menu added to your inventory. Okay. I can open the inventory any time to view items I've received. I should look over the menu carefully. Okay, let's do that. Menu. Chili dog. Ramen. Chicken cordon bleu. That's a menu, all right. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Instant ramen. According to the description. Why do you look so nervous? All we have on the train is a microwave. <laughs> Though I'm sure a little quiz is in order. Which of these do we serve in the dining car? Chicken cordon bleu. Ding ding ding! Glad you can read the menu okay. <laughs> I'm glad you're literate. A little about the vessel. This is a state-of-the-art high-speed smart train with all the latest gadgets. This train can really handle anything you throw at it. We've had a lot of adventures together, me and this train. It's not easy to leave. After 32 years, I don't blame him for being wistful. 
This train is exclusively used for events. It's not a passenger train. I remember that from the interview. What's the event today? A murder mystery party! Nothing better than some thrills to end my tenure as conductor. Guests will be funneled here to the dining car as a home base, so to speak. I'll be with you to gather tickets, but after that, you'll be on your own. So I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? I can't afford to lose this job. That's too real. I'll make you proud, sir. Far! Glad this old man can rest easy. Doors to the Mirage Express are opening. All aboard! I wonder who the guests are. Oh look, it's Amy. Wow, this train is incredible. What fascinating tech! You're right, Tails. I can get used to staying on a train like this. See, the hard part is going to be keeping track of all these voices I'm using. As mildly different as they are. What did you all expect? You know I always go all out for my birthday party. This train's as elegant as you are, Amy. Can't promise I won't take anything, though. <laughs> uh, calm down there, Rouge. Did I not just catch you stealing from the train station gift shop? It was a pen, knucklehead. Who's gonna miss a teeny tiny pen? What a cast of characters I am, am I stuck with here? Oh, excuse me, what cast of characters am I stuck with? Get a hold of yourself, Miles Prower. You're sweating through your uniform. Hey, pal. Can I get one of those chili dogs? Radio, friend. Well, aren't you friendly? Why can't I be normal for one second? Sonic, wait until I announce everyone's roles to get food. Haha, <laughs> sorry about that, birthday girl. I'll be coming around to collect everyone's tickets. Please have them out and ready. You'll join me, Miles Prower, won't you? Just click on whoever you'd like to talk with and we'll collect their ticket. Oh, okay, got it. Oh, wow. Even Shadow's here. <laughs> I guess we'll, uh... We'll just go left to right. Howdy! Could I please get your ticket? I, I think that's a ticket? But I really don't want to argue with this guy. Everything looks good, thank you. Seems the conductor doesn't want to argue either. Hmm. Can I get your ticket, young'un? Right here, sir. Thank you. May I offer you any of the snacks we have on board? No, thank you. When I travel, I always pack my own sparkle gelatin. It's a sparkly jelly that can melt any jaded heart. No way. I brought my own sparkle gelatin with me, too. It's my first day, and I was a little nervous. Wow, it's almost like we're the same person. Don't be nervous. You're doing great so far. We're sparkle gelatin buddies. <laughs> Absolutely. If you need anything, just let me let us know. That laugh came out way more sarcastic than I intended. Thank goodness someone on this train is normal. Ticket, please. Thank you kindly. Happy to have someone as renowned as yourself aboard. Huh? Don't worry about it. I just like helping. When Eggman took over, I truly feared the worst, but my kids swore you would swoop in eventually, and you did. I can't offer much other than my sincere gratitude. Don't sweat a thing. I'm glad you and your family are safe. Wait, wait a second. Is he, is he Sonic the Hedgehog? I promise you an excellent stay on our train, Sonic. Have fun now. Y yes, have fun, fun now. Will do, thanks. Could we please see your ticket? 
Of course. Excellent, thank you, and I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Absolutely. I appreciate it. I feel like Espio and Knuckles probably sounded the same, but... Oh well. <laughs> There's a calmness about him. Something about his presence puts me at ease. You consider me calming? He's looking right at me! I study ninjutsu. I believe one can communicate through the subconscious. I... I don't think that's what ninjutsu... does, Espio, but... Sure. <laughs> well, wow, ninjutsu? That sounds like a lot of difficult training. Can you cling onto the walls? Cling onto walls? What kind of question is that? I most certainly can. The conductor looks a bit too smug at that answer. Okay. Hello, my friend. Can I get your ticket? Uh, yeah, sure, of course. As a gentleman of upstanding morals, I'd love to show you my ticket. He seems to be avoiding eye contact. Is something amiss, sir? I, uh, seem to have, um, misplaced my ticket. Could you speak up a bit? I couldn't quite hear. I misplaced my ticket. I don't know where it is. He's not hiding his embarrassment very well. Don't you worry, we'll take a look around for you and see if it turns up. Ah, that would be amazing. Thanks a million. Seems as though we should keep our eyes peeled for his ticket. Could I please get the birthday girl's ticket? Hehe, <laughs> why certainly. Thank you, miss, and thank you for choosing our fine train for your birthday festivities. Well, the birthday discount certainly helped. Who doesn't love a good bargain? And a murder mystery train just sounds so exciting. It's right up my alley. Who doesn't love a good thrill? You see, I'm a girl who loves a good true crime podcast. Maybe we should leave her to have fun. Before we move along for you, miss... Oh, excuse me. For you, miss. Oh, how fun! Thank you! Where do I use this? That unlocks any door in the train! Happy birthday! The birthday girl gets the birthday key. It's practically tradition. Very useful. We'll use it wisely. Thank you. Here. Oh, that's basically the same as, um... Vector, I think, is the crocodile. Here. Thank you. Everything is in order. He seems concerned about something. Is there anything we can help you with? Do you sell gift bags here? Oh, uh, no, sadly, but I have a plastic grocery bag in the back I could get for you. That stare, brr, so cold. Miles Prower, you're shivering. Do you need me to fetch you a jacket? Uh, no, no, I'm good. May I have your ticket, please? Thank you very much. On top of it, I see. A princess such as myself must always be punctual. P princess Did she just say princess? If you don't mind me asking, are you visiting from somewhere? A separate dimension, actually. A separate what? Just here... Just here for Amy's birthday, then I'll hop back to my own dimension. I quite prefer the birthday cake from this world more than my own, so I admit I'm a bit excited. Oh, you don't say. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay, princess. 
Should I bow? Do I bow before a princess? Well, what are you doing? Please, get up. Why can I not win with this group? Well, well, hello you two. What can I do for you? Good morning, ma'am. Can we get your ticket? My, my, how forward. Let me fetch it for you. Come back if you need anything else, you hear? Wow, she's so polite. Very easy to talk to as well. Ma'am, I saw you sneak that $20 bill out of my pocket. <laughs> Gonna have to kindly ask for that back. Oh, this was yours? Must have slipped out. Here you go. I may not actually be the best at judging character. Um, that should be everyone. Oh, what's this? Mmm, yummy. Don't mind if I do. Miles Prower, those are for our guests, you know. Train, be sure Miles Prower only gets one of those if they ask. Did the arm just kind of nod? Actually, a uh, train, the conductor, wants me to have the whole plate. <laughs> Good try, young buck! The train and I have worked together a long time. You'll have to work harder than that to get what you want. Drat. Those snacks look real tasty, too. Right, I need to find the last ticket. What's sticking out of this napkin holder? Say, wasn't someone looking for their ticket earlier? Let's be sure to return this to its rightful owner. And let's make sure no one uses their ticket as a napkin. Lost ticket is added to my inventory. <laughs> find anything yet? Well, we just might have what you need. Miles Prower, why don't you show our friend here what we picked up? The menu. <laughs> I don't... You know what, let's see. Oh, I'm starved! I'll take one of each! On second thought, maybe I'll, uh, wait a bit. Miles Prower, I was referring to the other thing we picked up. Er, right, sorry. Ah! Ah, uh, there it is. That's my ticket. Thanks so much to you both. Was really worried you'd kick me out and I'd miss the murder mystery. Ho oh, ho, old Miles Prower here would have would have their hands full kicking you out. You're right. I wouldn't leave without a fight. Ha 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 ha. Wait, who made me both microwave expert and security guard? You're both all right in my book. Thanks again for the assist. Of course, just let us know if you need anything else. Okay, everyone, time for me to read out everyone's roles for the murder mystery. And that's my cue to leave. I must prepare the driver's compartment for departure. Ah, the conductor's car. You remember our promise, yeah? You'll do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time on the Mirage Express. Absolutely, you can count on me. To be honest, this group seems plenty capable on their own. And train? Assist Miles Prower if they need any help, won't ya? <laughs> That's all I need to hear, you have my trust. Nothing more heartwarming than a conductor in his train. Excellent. I'll be off. I must take my leave, everyone. Please have a phenomenal time. And don't worry about mucking up the place, either. This train is state-of-the-art and has systems for dealing with all that. For everything else, please talk to Miles Prower here if you need anything. Sounds good. Absolutely. 
Will do. Goodbye now. I like that guy. Thank you all for following the outfit guide I sent you. You all look amazing. I trust you all read your lore cards as well? Lore cards? That must be the details of their motivations. I suppose it makes sense lore cards aren't read out loud, otherwise people would know the murderer's intentions. Now, on to the nitty gritty. For the murder mystery game, one of you will be murdered, and the rest, suspects. Everyone has assigned roles there for characters they will be playing. Participation is required, for it is my birthday. Of course! Birthday girl makes the rules! Sonic, you are a ship captain and you'll be stationed in the conductor car. Naturally, that's where the captain would go. Tails, you are a detective. You'll be here in the dining car. Indubitably. Knuckles, you're the sheriff around these parts. We'll find you in the saloon. Got it. Rouge, you're a business tycoon. And Blaze, you're a titan of industry, both in the casino. What's the difference? There is none. <laughs> hmm, sounds fun. Vector, you're the butcher, and Espio, the poet, both found in the library. Hear that, Espio? We get to hang out together! And do what? Read? Maybe we can... Make a tower of books or something. Shadow is the locksmith hanging out in the lounge. Hmm. And last but not least, me, the journalist reporter. I'll be moseying around with everyone. Did you get all that? Yes. Ah, I was listening. Hope that's okay. <laughs> More than all right. You can help ensure everyone's following their roles. Oh, that reminds me. I have a map for each of you. This is all... Okay, yeah. Everyone's station is marked on this map as well. How convenient. Map added to your inventory. The rules of the game are as follows. There is a murderer amongst you all. The murderer can kill a single participant however they choose, but you must physically be present with the victim for it to count. Everyone else must collect evidence throughout the train and use it to interrogate fellow passengers to figure out who done it. The murderer will lie to get out of being accused, so inspect everything you can, find clues, and interrogate. I'll set a timer for one hour so everyone can mingle and the murderer can do their thing. Is everyone ready? Sounds like everyone's excited. Everyone to your stations! Ah, this is so exciting! A mystery is unfolding right under our very noses. Same, ah, isn't it awesome? Shouldn't you two be out there mingling with everyone? Well, actually, the detective and the journalist can't be the murderer. So we're stuck here for an hour before going out and scoping the place. This way, there's always a neutral p This way, there's- blah, 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 blah. You know, I'm pretty sure these voices probably are not going to be sustainable for the entirety of this. Oh, I think I'll just, uh, read from here. If I do a voice, I do a voice. If I don't, I don't. This way, there's always a neutral party. Makes sense to me. Seems as though Amy's more excited about deciphering the mystery anyways. What do you think everyone's doing? Oh, probably inspecting their stations and talking amongst one another. Everyone has roles to play, so they must be exploring their characters. Do you know what their character motivations are, Amy? No, the lore, car lore cards are confidential. No one knows but the person who received them. Bird. 
My backstory is that I was best friends with a Flicky that decided to join the evil Dr. Eggman, kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. My lore is that I'm a nosy person turned journalist. <laughs> Not gonna lie, this kinda sounds fun. Wish I wasn't stuck on microwave duty. Yeah. The train started moving! It, it's so fast! Grab onto something! What is going on? Ah, I'm slipping! H hold on! I, I can't! I ah! No! Well, something already went wrong. I think. Maybe. Oh, yeah, something went wrong. You're both awake! Y yeah It seems the train has slowed down considerably. Is everyone alright? Yeah, my head's spinning a bit, but I'm okay. It seems we've been knocked into the dining car's closet. This train can reach such incredible speeds. We're getting our money's worth with this experience, that's for sure. Is this actually intended? It's my first day, so I'm not really sure. I don't recall them warning me about this in the interview. We should go check on the others. Miles Prower, w could you get the door? Of course. Hmm, seems the door is blocked and I don't think it's budging. Amy, give that fallen shelf a <laughs> whack with your Pico Pico hammer. Hmm? Let's find another way out. I'll uh, start looking for clues. Oh no, she doesn't have her Pico Pico hammer. I'll search over there. I know, Amy. She's hiding something. Huh? Huh? I suppose she did wake up before us. Something could have happened. Listen, I know I'm the detective here, but all the best detectives have sidekicks. I'm gonna need... Excuse me. I'm gonna need your help. Let's gather clues on why Amy's acting this way and interrogate her about it. Check out everything you can around this closet, then we'll show it to Amy to uncover the full situation. Gather evidence and interrogate. Got it. I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of, understood? Understood. You can count on me, Tails. I won't turn evil like your ex-flicky companion did. Happy to hear it. Now let's get searching. Ah, the wet floor sign. Keeping people alert and safe. Once I slipped on some spilled juice at the grocery store. No wet floor sign at all. Luckily, Sonic was there to catch me. Wow, Sonic really is as fast as they say. But he was going so fast, he also slipped on the juice. We slid into an older gentleman's shopping cart. Well, it's the thought that counts, I suppose. What do you think, Tails? Want me to cook any of this for you? When we get out of here, sure! I normally never make microwave meals. I prefer to cook. My cast iron skillet has gotten a lot of use lately. I can keep cook a mean cast iron pizza, haha. <laughs> I've only had microwave lunches this week. The shelf blocking our exit is currently not budging. Hey, Miles Prower, look closely at this. I wonder how this side of the shelf got smashed. There's nothing the shelf could have fallen into, and I'm sure this damage wasn't here before. The train has too much upkeep. I feel like this is important. We should log it. Crack on the shelf is added to my inventory. Oh, okay, so clues are just inventory items. All right, one more thing to look at and then talk to Amy. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. Sadly, it's empty. But on the bright side, it's a very clean trash bin. How do I become as optimistic as this kid? Oh, Amy looks very, uh, normal. <laughs> What's the latest? Find any clues yet? I found a spoon. If we find two more, we can dig ourselves out. Dig ourselves out. 
On a train? I'll keep looking. Talk. Oh, okay. It's just the same thing she just said. Start interrogation. Hmm. I don't think we have enough evidence yet. Why don't we look around a little more first? Oh, there's more to find? There's gotta be another way out of here. Oh, there's this. What's this? A rod? The tip is broken. Looks to have originally been attached to something. Wait, is that the hammer? I'm not sure if it's related to our mystery, but I like spinning it around, so we'll keep it. Stick is added to your inventory. I think we've found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Amy and find out what's really happening. What's the latest? Amy, we believe you're hiding something from us. W what You accuse me on my own birthday? How dare you? This isn't going to be easy, is it? I've been stuck in here just like the two of you. What in the world do you think I'm hiding? Amy was awake before Tails and I were. What could she have done in that time? Um... Let's do... Attempt. I don't think you were sitting idly while Miles Prower and I were knocked out. You attempted to escape the closet. Prove it. Show me the evidence that I attempted to escape or help me search for a way out. Do we have evidence to prove that? Let me step you through this. First, find the correct piece of evidence from your inventory. Once that has been deduced, we must form an, our argument to fight back. Alright, let's do it. What proves Amy attempted to escape the dining car closet? That one. Some damage on a shelf is supposed to prove something? It fell over! Damage makes sense! You have no argument here, you're grasping. Oof, okay, Tails, what now? Well, now we follow this train of thought. How does the crack on the shelf relate to Amy? So now I have to explain myself? Well, you see, I, uh, well... Hmm, when I get stumped, I like to think. What would Sonic do? What would Sonic do? Sonic's a force to be reckoned with. He's always running forward, collecting rings, crushing badniks. He never loses. L like an endless runner game. I play a lot of those on my phone. Uh, sure, whatever works. Just close your eyes and think. What would Sonic do? And find your argument. Alright, let's prove we're not grasping. Let's follow this train of thought and fire a comeback. Like Sonic would do. Think. <laughs> Dream gear. Okay, so I need arrow keys and... Oh, I can do WASD as well. I imagine those will get tougher, but that was pretty, pretty easy. Sure, the shelf fell, but there's nothing around for the shelf to fall into. You're telling me on a train this well kept that the damage was here before we arrived? Uh, what? Well, I... I believe someone is responsible for hitting the shelf. You just said nothing was around for the shelf to fall into. What was the shelf hit with, then? A stick. What? What is that? A stick? You truly believe a stick could do this kind of damage? Okay, and now we must prove, or we must uh, come to the conclusion that this was the hammer. Oops. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Oh crap. I think you've been twirling around that stick a bit too much. Let's try to follow that train of thought again, shall we? Yeah, yeah.
You're right, a stick can't do this kind of damage to the shelf on its own. But if it's attached to something, it could, like, let's say, a hammer? Ah! This isn't a stick at all, is it? This is actually the handle to your Pico Pico hammer! You attempted to hit the shelf out of the way, but you failed. The handle to your hammer snapped right off! Uh... Uh... It's as you both said, I tried to get us all out with my hammer, but I failed. I gave the shelf one big whack and the handle ripped right off. I figured it was no big deal and tried to hide it, but I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. She does look genuine, genuinely sorry about the situation. I never expected your hammer to snap like that, Amy. It was one of my backups. It's a little lighter to carry around. I didn't think I'd need it. Well, lucky for you, I'm a detective and I dabble as a mechanic. Let's... let me see both pieces of the hammer. Just tighten this... things here, little elbow grease there, and fixed. Tails, thank you! According to my calculations, if you hit the shelf right... here, it should do the trick. Alright, stand back. The shelf completely shattered. Incredible. We did it! We're free! Great job, Amy. Let's get out of here. Oh, this place is a mess. Wait, is that...? Oh no! It can't be! Sonic! Someone murdered my darling Sonic! She looks so happy. Looks like the game's begun. I'm finding out who did this at once. Amy, wait, I want to figure out who did this too. Wait for me. What a whirlwind. I'm exhausted already. That was really convincing, Sonic. S Sonic? Eh. Body numb. Can't move. What are you saying? I don't understand. I just need to r rest. Sonic? Sonic? Is is he actually hurt? He's not moving. Are these wounds on him genuine? My hand's on his wrist, but I don't sense a pulse. Am I doing this right? What in the world is going on? Is this part of the murder mystery, or is this serious? Sonic? Sonic! Oh no, oh no, I feel myself panicking. Calm down, Miles Prower. What do I do? I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood. These guests are incredibly renowned, which means they must be remarkably rich. <laughs> so I leave their care to you, Miles Prower. My favorite employee. Surely you won't let me down on this last ride. Fah, <laughs> fah. I need to catch up to Amy and Tails and get to the bottom of this. Even if this is part of this, the game, I just can't risk it. I'll keep everyone safe, Conductor. You'll see. Ooh, title card. The murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. To the saloon. Whoa, look at this place. Hey, Tails, where are you? Miles Prower, I'm over here. I think Amy's already gone on ahead. She seem, It seems she's really excited. Did you need something from me? Uh, yeah, just a question, really. How do I put this? What if Sonic is actually hurt? <laughs> He's laughing? Sonic doesn't go down so easily. He's on a train full of his friends. Nothing would actually happen to him. We're just all really committed to the mystery for Amy. You have nothing to worry about, I promise. Plus, Sonic likes to nap a lot in, in a lot of strange spots. He's fine. 
He's making a lot of sense, but I can't shake what Sonic said to me. Is this really part of the mis murder mystery game? Or is there something deeper happening? I need more evidence to figure out what's going on. Can I tag along with you? If you don't mind, is it cool if I tag along with you? Oh, of course, sure! Now if I ever need a snack, you've got me! Ha, uh, fair. As I said, the best detectives have sidekicks, so I'm happy to have you. If you ever catch me looking glum, though, just know it's because, uh, where's my lore card? The last guy to work a case with me ditched our practice to join the evil Dr. Eggman. Not a proper detective without baggage. This is true. Ye varmints. What are ye all doing in my saloon? He's trying so hard to stay in character. <laughs> Just like me in real life. Knuckles, we're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic. I can see that. Amy moseyed through and told me all about it. <coughs> oh, enough of that. Wonder how long he kept that voice up for Amy. We were wondering if you could help us... What... Or, uh, bleh. We were wondering if you could tell us what you were up to before the murder. Anything to help us establish your alibi and... Nope. I have nothing to tell, either of you. Leave me alone. He's obviously agitated about something, but why take it out on us? I know better than to argue with Knuckles, so it seems we're on our own. Miles Prower, we need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we were all apart. Let's investigate for clues, and then interrogate. Right, let's do it. Peanuts. Ah. Oh, excuse me. Assorted nuts. The bowl of assorted nuts. The classic saloon snack. <laughs> Kinda bland. Huh. Seemed like someone licked all the salt off them. What? Black. <laughs> or maybe they're just unsalted. I like the first explanation better. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. Sadly, this one is empty as well. I'm starting to think your theory on something always being hidden in the trash is flawed. See, now there's going to be one thing where there's definitely something in the trash. It's only a matter of time, Tails. Have faith. It's as they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. <laughs> I think Tails is ignoring me. That's fair. I would too window. Breathtaking views. This train passes by some incredible sights. I'm just happy to be traveling at a normal speed. I get nauseous pretty easily. I have to avoid things like roller coasters. I don't mind roller coasters, though I find myself running on the tracks more than I do riding in the carts. <laughs> uh, I'll never understand this friend group. The robotic arms here are really helpful. Mm -hmm. well, what's the arm doing to my hair? He fixed it up a bit. That's incredible! What... what interesting tech. Uh-oh. Should I fear for my job a little bit? How well can it microwave? That's the flaw. They can't microwave. Other than that, they're perfect machines. Okay, there's nothing on... Oh, wait, there's something up there. Howdy, partners. Spittoon free establishment. <laughs> Visit Coliseum Highway Zone. We'll leave it on howdy, partners. Alright, so that leaves the cups in the arcade machine. Miles Prower, this is interesting. What is it? I... It's just a few used cups. Sure, but why are there three? Uh... Knuckles was really thirsty? Miles Prower, this one has lipstick on the rim. That's not Knuckles' color at all. Someone else must have been here. We should log this. Used cups are added to your inventory.
Clearly, we won't be able to give the game Super Monkey Ball a try. Do we think it broke when the train sped up? The damages look more to be caused from... punches? Who could have done that? I wonder. The man named Knuckles? Possibly. <laughs> what, what are you two looking at me for? Smashed Arcade has added to your inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Knuckles and find out what really happened. I thought I told you to leave me alone. Yeah, I feel like that's more of a shadow voice than a Knuckles voice. I like your hat. Hmm. N Knuckles, are you blushing? I said, leave me alone. Doesn't look like he's used to being complimented. Did, did you just adjust your hat a bit so he could see it better? I said leave! Interrogation. Knuckles, Miles Prower and I need to determine what you were doing during the hour the murder took place. I already told you, buzz off! You're not getting anything out of me. I can't land on a voice for Knuckles that I like. Thankfully, we don't need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. It, it is? We have evidence, too. We, we do? Miles Prower, just take a good look at our inventory. What was distracting Knuckles during the time Sonic was murdered? The game. <laughs> the arcade machine? Ha! What makes you think I touched it? Okay. Got another... Ooh, we need 30 rings now. Oh geez, these are getting more complex. Ow. Ow. Mm -hmm. Ah, dang it. <laughs> you have no argument here. You are weak. Ouch. Let's follow that train of thought again, shall we? Okay. Oops. Ah! Wow, I am bad at Sonic games. Okay, yep, yep. Okay, so I'm just in a loop here until I actually land on... Oh, I don't think I'm gonna have enough rings. Dang it. Okay. Okay, I did it. I don't need to take a look at their assisted, uh, their assistance yet. I get the feeling I will need to, though, because, um, yeah. <laughs> that was the third one, and I'm not doing fantastic. This isn't a tough one, Knuckles. Knuckles, you clearly touched the arcade machine before, because... The arcade cabinet is covered in punches. What evidence do you have that the damages are punches? What are you all staring at my hands for? Knuckles, you clearly destroyed the arcade machine, but why? I needed a punching bag and no one was were available and none were available little bit that. Yeah, no one was available to me. <laughs> Just a sudden urge to punch, huh? I believe repairing the arcade machine will give us our answer. H how will you... I'm on it! Miles Prower, distract Knuckles while I fix Super Monkey Ball! Bring it on! Oh, okay. <laughs> Another think segment. Oop. Oop, too slow. 
Ah, I jumped too soon. Ah, I keep going the wrong direction on that one. Ah. The timing of those uh, particular balls are not helping. I'm hitting like everything. Oh, I landed right on that one. Oh dear. <clears throat> These get uh, rather busy rather quickly. Okay, immediately lose my first three rings. Because I keep moving left when I should be moving right for that one. Nope, I'm not going to have enough again. 26. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead. We'll go down to... 60% of the rings that for the requirements. I might be able to hit that. Okay, now I need 18. Look at me. Master of making the same mistakes over and over again. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Somehow I did worse. Move to the right. Too far to the left. Too early to the left. Ah! <laughs> that last jump keeps getting me. There we go. Oh, I actually had enough that I would have done it even if I had full uh, ring requirement. Oh well, I'm gonna keep it where it is. The arcade machine is fixed. No, don't look at the scores. Quick, look at the scores. I'm pulling it up now. Vector. <laughs> Vector beat Knuckles by one. Okay, what does it? What does this tell us? Nothing, obviously. It tells us something massive. Look at the name at the top of the list. It's Vector. He's supposed to be in the library car. Mm. The picture is beginning to be painted here. You competed with Vector to see who could get the highest score. And Vector beat you! And in frustration, you destroyed the arcade cabinet. Grr. He's... Punching the air in frustration. You're guessing. Where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Vector's a common name. Prove to me he was here. Now! Okay. Interesting that I have to do another think first. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Ah. Ah. <laughs> okay, I think of all the assist options, I should probably just remove the pitfalls. Because those are killing me the most. Let's try this again. Oh yeah, look at that. Now it's just a clear path. I should be able to do this. Okay, this should go a lot smoother from here. 
Now, Miles Prower, what proves Vector was here with Knuckles? The drinks. No! I thought it was strange there was more than one cup sitting next to you. Well, you were supposed to be participating in the murder mystery game for Amy's birthday. You and Vector enjoyed some drinks playing arcade. It's, I'm, it's not like, it's not, I wasn't, ah, uh, don't tell Amy. I think we're on the right track here. It's as you say, Vector popped in at the top of the hour wanting to play the arcade machine with me. We went back and forth trying to figure the game out, but when we did, we competed for the highest score. When he bested me, I destroyed the machine. No proof of his win. I was trying to fix the arcade cabinet before you two came in, honest. I didn't want to be caught. And that's my story and alibi. I've already told an abridged version of this to Amy. Boy, this friend group has a lot of pride issues. Well, that explains one of the used cups. But what of the cup with the lipstick mark? Rouge was in here too. It's inconsequential, not worth mentioning. She searched around for something but failed, made fun of our game and left. Obnoxious, that one. But you offered... You offered her a drink, apparently. Listen, I don't know why she showed up, and I've told you everything that happened here before the train sped up. Are you not satisfied? Will you two relent? Hmm, I'm understanding the scenario. Vector visited to play games, Rouge couldn't find something and left, and then Knuckles destroyed the machine. That all makes sense to me. Thank you for answering so many of our que- Actually, that's not everything, is it, Knuckles? I want to step back to something I noticed. One more name on that high score list doesn't make sense. Miles Prower, can you take one more... a look one more time? An odd name on the high score list. What is Tails talking about? Uh, let's see. Vector, Knuckles, Toast, Apple, Bread, Ultim, Bagel... Okay, so Ultim. Oh, it's Shadow! <laughs> the ultimate life form. Hmm. All the other names have food themes, but this one... Who here goes by Ultim? You may not know Miles Prower, but there is someone here that goes by that title. The Ultimate Life Form. There's really someone here that goes by that? Nothing sneaks by you, does it, bud? Vector and I were struggling so much with the game, but then Shadow dropped by. So Shadow was here too? He taught us the game and was the first to get his name on the scoreboard. Vector and I then fought the, to beat Shadow's score. They're both very annoying. <laughs> you all immediately had to compete, huh? He gave me this before he left. A key. Shadow told me to lock the door and not open it for anyone. Then he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him. Saw no one else after locking the door. That's the honest truth. So when Amy came through here not too long ago, did you open the door for her? No, I think she has some sort of key too. That's right, the conductor gave her the special birthday key. Well, I have a lot of questions. What happened in the library to cause Vector to come here? Why is Shadow locking doors, and what was Rouge searching for? I don't know, they didn't tell me, even though I asked with that cowboy accent. You're gonna have to find them and ask them yourselves. More information than I expected to get there, but it seems we can move on. As of right now, I believe your story, Knuckles. We'll only know for sure when we confirm things with Vector. Fair enough. The library is the next car. I'll open the lock for you. Give whoever KO'd Sonic an earful for me, Detective Tails and Butler. 
I liked it better when he wasn't talking to us. Will do, Sheriff. Come on, Miles Prower, let's head to the library. On it. This is way more exciting than microwaving chili dogs. Miles Prower! C coming. So, I feel like the question they that we both ignored here is, which way did Shadow and Rouge leave? <laughs> did they go back to their own cars, or did they go the other way first? I guess Knuckles would have mentioned if they did. Decent cash reward for finding this robot. I'll keep an eye out. Poor Oma Chow. Hate to see them like this. What'd they do? Medical malpractice? <laughs> Interesting. Oh, uh, that, that's amazing. Ready to mosey down to the next car? Actually, Tails, I will be in a moment. I need to take a quick break. So, uh, oh, I need to make a hold screen while I take quick breaks like this. But I will be right back. Um, see you in a few minutes. Oh, wait, I know what to do. Uh, where is it? This one. Okay. There we go. That did it. Alright, folks, I will be back in just a moment.
All right, and I have returned. Welcome back, folks. Hope uh, took the chance to grab some water, stay hydrated, etc., etc. Stretch, whatever you need to do. Let's go ahead and put that back. All right. Ready to mosey down to the next car? You got it, partner. Onwards! The library. All this stuff's getting hum heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Everyone's favorite journalist reporter, Amy Rose, is hot on the scoop. I'm heading out. You've been fabulously helpful. Already? Before you go, Espio and I wanted to give you your presence. My presence? Okay, I can't do that Vector voice for a long period, and I'm probably going to be talking to Vector a lot. You're both too sweet. Thank you. Hmm. Vector, it seems we have more guests. Amy, there you are! Have you found any leads yet? Oh, the detective pair needs help from the birthday girl? Ah, uh, she <laughs> knows everyone's allowed to be sassy on their birthday. This tip is just too juicy to ignore. I'll see you all around! Don't worry, Sonic. I'll be the one to avenge you. And quick! But... But how are you going to leave? Gonna leave? The door to the next car is locked. Oh, you doubt the birthday girl? The birthday girl has a master key! Right, right, right. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. Of course! It's a birthday privilege! I'll solve the case before anyone else. Bye! Amy may be hasty, but she's thorough. Now what are you two doing looking mighty suspicious, I say? I'm the detective, so I can't be the murderer. And I'm, uh... Just making sure... Here to ask if anyone's hungry. Starved! I'd kill for a chicken parmesan right about now. Maybe kill isn't the right language to use right now. I'm Vector, the butcher. I'm licensed to handle raw meat. And I'm Espio, the poet. Ah, poetry. A resonant message from poet to reader meant to challenge our delicate perspectives with the most rhythmic of prose. Can I hear some? Sure, uh... Teardrops in the spring. Can you hear me sing? La la la, dee 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 dee. <laughs> Was that it? I have more if you'd like. Cherry blossoms in the spring. I'm, uh, satisfied for now, thanks! At least he's rhyming, I suppose. Miles Prower and I are here to establish both of your alibis. Can you walk us through what happened after Amy had everyone leave the dining car? Oh sure, it's simple. We just explained this to Amy, actually. <clears throat> when we were all sent off, Rouge, Blaze, Shadow, and Sonic all passed through this library car, where Amy told me and Espio to stay. I promptly picked a book off the shelf and made myself comfortable. Vector got bored, so he left to see what Knuckles was up to in the saloon car. Yup. Where was Rouge? We happened to see her lipstick stain on a cup in the, at the saloon car. Rouge came over to the library car, seemingly looking for something. Then she went to search the saloon car. She came back shortly after. We heard her shout, No way! At the brochure stand over there. 
but she left back to the casino car before Shadow came through and locked the door. Wonder what she found. She's obviously been on the hunt for something. After Rouge left, Shadow walked through the casino car, then entered the library car and locked the door behind him. More importantly, why has Shadow been locking doors? Shadow walked through the library car to the saloon car, where Knuckles and I were playing games. He insisted on showing us up at Super Monkey Ball. I got so engrossed by the rolling monkey action, I hardly noticed when Shadow left the saloon car. I guess he walked through the library car to the casino car again, locking the door behind him. Then returned to the lounge car, where he was meant to be stationed. When Vector came back, we realized Knuckles locked the door to the saloon car. We were stuck in the library car. That's when the train sped up. We were worried about the bookshelves falling on us, but we got through it alright. We sat trapped here until Amy arrived asking questions. She's the one that told us someone murdered Sonic. And yeah, that's all that happened. Hmm, with all these locked doors, it seems Vector and Espio couldn't have left the library car or the saloon car. Thank you both for your cooperation. We're just gonna peek around and we'll return with any questions. If you return with any meat, I'll chop it up for ya! Really in character. And if you'd like to be serenaded with a poem, I've got you covered too. Thanks, guys! Their alibi seems solid enough, but we should still search for clues. What we're looking for is any evidence that proves what they're saying is true. We need to confirm Vector's reason for leaving the, his post and determine if Espio was actually in the library car reading. A tall task, but we can do it. Let's get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. Books. So many books on the ground. I wish we had time to pick them all up. I sadly have no interest in picking up these books. A lot of these were knocked out by the train speeding out. But Rouge pulled a lot of these out too, searching for something. What reckless behavior. I feel sorry for the poor books. The spines are creasing. They're opening too far. This kid feels empathy for everything. Ooh, brochures. There are travel destination ideas here, like amusement parks, caverns, hotels, restaurants. Oh! Miles Prower, look at this. There's a couple maps here. This seems to be a map of the library car. The books are categorized by genre, which are listed here. I love a good overhead map. Let's take it. Should we take this brochure about a cave, too? Look, there's stalactites. Nah, leave it. Oh, haha, <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Nobody shares my fondness for caves. A chow hangs precariously from a tree branch. The large text below reads, Hang in there. Wow, I really needed to see this. Uh, this little chow's hanging there, refusing to use his wings to fly to safety because choosing the hard way is often the most rewarding. <laughs> That's beautiful. If this chow can stick to his principles and find strength, then I can too. There's no way there was that much thought put into this poster. R right? A globe of our marvelous planet. I haven't traveled around much. The islands are fun and all, but I'd love to visit some of the countries. They're a lot of fun, honestly. Plenty of wonderful people and shops. The food can't be beat either. Ah, sounds perfect for a vacation. The conductor was talking about Spagonia if you've ever been there. I have, actually. If you're ever visiting, be sure to stop at the university and say hi to Professor Pickle. He'll tell you everything about the area and make one scrumptious sandwich. I'll keep that in mind, thanks. This group knows everyone has been everywhere, haven't they? Oh. 
All right, what else is there to look at here? Oh, there's a specific book in this stack. And there's the hand up there. Looks like that's it. Oh, poor thing. That arm is really struggling cleaning, cleaning up this car. To be fair, I wouldn't want to clean up all this mess either. Let's just leave it alone to do its thing. Yeah, probably for the best. What's this bright red book? Oh, yuck. This reeks of the evil scientist Dr. Eggman. Yep, this is Dr. Eggman's autobiography and recipe book. What kind of recipes? Who cares? I wouldn't trust any book he's written. It's weird this is even here. Maybe people just appreciate an omelet. You may not be wrong. Oh, trash bin. I almost forgot the trash bin. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. I hate to say it, but there's nothing here. Ah, uh, I really thought there'd be something there. Me too, me. Me too. Miles Prower? Are you sad there was nothing in the trash bin? N no no I'm I'm all right. I'm sure uh, I'm sure there'll be something hidden in the next trash bin we find. You really think so? Um yeah, we just got to stay optimistic. Yeah, yeah, okay. These trash bins hide a secret, I'm sure of it. Miles Prower, you're pretty unconventional, but I like that. Was... was that supposed to be a compliment? Um... Okay. Yeah, the only evidence here is the overhead map. That's interesting. Because so there's the books on the floor... Oh, wait, there's more this way. Aha! An entire bookshelf. <clears throat> wow! I wish I could stop and look at all these books. But Sonic needs me. No time to rest. Alright, let's move on then. Well, I mean, a little peek wouldn't hurt. He's scavenging through all the book titles excitedly. He's like a kid in a candy shop, or in this case, a genius in a train library. That's odd. I know some books have fallen out on the floor and everything, but... Every book on these shelves is in alphabetical order but this one. The Mirage Express Manual. It's the user guide to the Mirage Express, the train we're currently on. Do you think someone found it on the ground and put it back? Maybe, but it is interesting. Let's make a note of this. Mirage Express manual, added to my inventory. Okay, that I believe now is... <laughs> Chaos Cola, I believe that is everything. Check out our book club, Book of the Month. Gone Gal. Chaos Cola. We're advertising now. Sponsor me, Chaos Cola. Fancy a poem? Can I get a poem about trains? Locomotive in motion. I think I lost my lotion. The window shows the ocean. Oh wait, there's my lotion. Uh, thanks. I actually really liked that one. Huh? <clears throat> hmm, I don't think we have enough evidence yet. Why don't we look around a bit more first? Really? What am I missing here? <laughs> Did you bring me any meat to chop? I may be a butcher, but they confiscated my meat cleaver before getting on the train. You actually tried to bring a knife on the train? I'm a man of authenticity, Tails! Without a knife, I'm just a chef in a ketchup-stained apron, not a butcher. I think if you had a knife on you, we'd definitely think you were the murderer. Hmm, but what if I hid the knife? You know, I'm not the biggest fan of this line of thought. Okay, I'm missing something here, but what? It's just the book. I don't think I have enough to interrogate either of them, though. 
Nope. Okay, no new dialogue there. <coughs> oh, gotta clear my throat a little. No new dialogue there. Oh, this table. Ah, uh, let's just take a pause and sit for a second. <clears throat> These chairs are very comfy, so plush. Puts me right in the mood to read. Makes me want to take a nap, personally. In fact, maybe I'll rest my eyes a bit. Miles Prower, no, don't fall asleep. There's been a murder, remember? If I had a ring for every time a murder ruined my nap time. Okay, but so there was nothing at the table. Okay, nothing new. What am I missing? No, seriously, game, what am I missing? Um... Do I just need to talk to them? Okay, nope, it just repeats the, um... <laughs> Actually, I'm off duty at the moment. The murder mystery is more important. Then why would you show the menu to me? You've made a fool of me. You <laughs> look, Miles Prower, you've made him a fool. Come on, Miles Prower, smooth this over. No, I'm the fool. Yeah. Yeah. I smooth things over, but at what cost? All right. Ooh, nope, that, that was just the arm. Shadow supposedly walked through the library car before going into the saloon car. When Shadow left the library car, he locked this door on his way out. There's gotta be a reason he's doing this. Should we make a note of it? Yeah, I do believe we should. Shadow's lock is added to your inventory. I think we've- oh, okay. I need to look at the door. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Vector and Espio to find out what really happened. Let's start with Espio. Fancy a poem. So, the two of you don't bel the two of you don't believe us, huh? It's not that I don't trust either of you, but I wouldn't be a proper detective without examining the validity of your alibis. Miles Prower and I are here to confirm two things. Why Vector left to go play games with Knuckles and if Espio really was reading in the library car. Vector, we'll start with you. Why did you leave the library car to visit Knuckles? We're prepared to present evidence if need. Oh, that's easy. I got bored. That, that, what? I wasn't entertaining him enough, it seems. Vector enjoys being social. Plus, we were instructed to mingle. I remembered the arcade machine in the saloon car, so I figured I'd go check it out. This seems to line up with the information we gathered with Knuckles. Then that brings our attention to you, Espio. Rouge entered the library car, found something, then left. You said you immediately started reading, but were you actually reading the entire time you were in the library car? Of course he was. Once Espio starts reading, he doesn't stop till it's done. I've seen it happen. It must have been a good read. What was the book? Espio doesn't owe you that, detective. Let the man live. What if it was embarrassing? What kind of things do you think I read? If you won't talk, I have a hunch on what book that book might be. Miles Prower, could you help me out? Alright, Miles Prower, what book do we think Espio may have been reading? This one. A manual? You think Espio was reading a man instructions? What argument could you possibly have to support this? Think.
<clears throat> there are books scattered around the floor, sure, but the remaining books on the shelves were all in alphabetical order. All except this manual, meaning someone, at the very least, picked the manual up and put it back in the incorrect place. This lack of attention to detail isn't normally like you, SBO. Hey now, I won't have you insulting my pal like that. Calm down, Vector. I know you mean well, but I can handle myself. No apologies, Espio. A butcher and a poet. Friendship can form anywhere. That is indeed the book I was reading, the Mirage Express Manual. Trains are cool. In that case, we'd like to ask you a few questions about the manual, Miles Prower, if you don't mind. Could you ask Espio some questions about the manual? Just flip to a page and ask away. Oh, I see. Quiz Espio about the manual to prove he read it. Which page should I quiz him on? Page 97. Okay, um, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. During events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. I remember the conductor saying the train can clean itself. Though, I have a feeling the train company just didn't want to hire any janitors. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. Seems like Espio aced that question. Miles Prower, hit him with another one. Okay, okay. Which page? 231. What is the Mirage Express's cancellation policy? No refunds and you will be charged no show fee. This does not apply if you are over the age of 65. Gee, the person who made this rule must have been over 65. Last one, Miles Prower. Let's see if Espio can go three for three. Gotcha. Which page should I pick? 402. What was implemented to support the conductor duties and ease general train obligations? An intelligent data processing system. It works in tandem with the conductor to assure smooth travel for guests. I remember this. The train has an autopilot, but it can't access its full suite of capabilities without the conductor present. Now, did I pass your little test? Yes. Totally. It's wild you were able to retain all this information so quickly. A poet's brain is often surprising. I don't know if I'd be bragging about that. You've clearly read the manual. Those answers feel far too specific to be guesses. And you both had the nerve to question my buddy like that. Don't we want to be supporting folks who read? You have to admit, though, reading the entire time a murder occurred does see sound a bit suspicious, even if true. But he answered all my questions so calmly, that's very impressive. No, no, I understand everyone's cautious attitudes. Vector was on the only one to see me reading after all. My alibi is hard to substantiate despite being the truth. Well, you definitely read through the manual, so I suppose we can't... Espio, is that true? Vector was the only one to see you reading? Yes, that's correct. Problem? Yes, actually, Rue should have seen him. Frankly, I don't believe that can be true, and we have evidence to back it up. Miles Prower? He always puts me on the spot. Okay, what piece of evidence linked to someone who also saw SBO reading, but what? Oh, Shadow and Rouge. Shadow's lock? Please, pray tell, what this has to do with anything. We're up... Miles Prower, let's get our argument together. Oops. Hmm. 
Shadow walked through the library car to get to the saloon car where he set the original high score on the arcade machine. Yeah, but I ended up beating it. It wasn't the high score long. Crocs are natural gamers. Espio said he saw Shadow enter the library car, but he's mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. He only mentions that Vector came back. When Shadow left Knuckles and Vector in the saloon car, Espio was fully seated reading his book for a good while at this point. It. We know Shadow had to walk back through the library car when he left the saloon car. But there's absolutely no way Shadow and Espio didn't notice one another on Shadow's return trip. Uh, I mean, it was a simple slip-up. I was just fully immersed in my book that I didn't even notice Shadow. You're telling me the sound of doors opening and locking wouldn't have caused you to look up? Well, you see, I can sense Espio's desperation here. Defending the argument that he was reading the entire time isn't easy. So if you didn't see Shadow returning from the saloon car to lock all the doors, then at what moment were you really in the library car at all? But how would Espio leave? Shadow locked all the doors and no one saw Espio in the saloon car. It's a mystery, my dear Miles Prower. One that I would love for Espio to solve. You gotta believe me. That cool demeanor is vanishing. I was so involved with my book, I didn't notice Shadow pass back through the library car, honest. When Vector returned, he even had to tap me on the shoulder to get my attention. Yeah, I think I remember doing that. I must avenge my friend's death, so I'll ask you again, Espio. If you weren't there for Shadow to see you reading, then how did you leave the library car? I wasn't. I didn't. Why doesn't this seem... right to me? Tails definitely feels like he's onto something, but I don't see it. Was Espio simply sitting reading, or did he somehow vanish to not notice Shadow's return to the library car? What should I do? Um, let's take a look at this map. I don't think that tells us anything. Oh, wait. Vespio was back here. He could easily have not seen Shadow. And he would have been hidden from Shadow walking through. Because he's behind this bookcase. Because this is where we entered. Because here's that, uh... The desk and the, the wall. So I'm actually going to side with Espio here. I have to make sure my our guests are taken care of. I have to speak up. Tails! We have a piece of evidence that can answer all of our problems. Alright, my fellow associate, lay it on me. What piece of evidence shows Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another? The map. Alright, now let's get my thoughts in order. The library map? Oh, oh, I see! See? See the exits? They're right across from one another, a straight path. If Shadow walked down this straight path, there's a way Espio and Shadow couldn't have seen one another. Looks like you'll have to point out where exactly on the map you mean. Where could Espio have been for Shadow to not see him? Ding. Interesting. That's where I was sitting, reading my book. 
I can second this. When I returned from the saloon car, Espio was in the same spot. That confirms it then. You see, Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another from this spot. Because the bookcase is in the way. There's no way Shadow could have seen Espio, or vice versa. It makes a lot of sense. Why you never mentioned Shadow's return, Espio. There's just no way you would have seen him. I apologize for losing my cool back there. I felt like I was grasping despite telling the truth. But I'm glad you all believe me now. Your alibi isn't the most airtight, but I have no further points. Thank you both for answering all our questions. We, we did it. Another pair of al alibis validated. Too many locked doors to worry about, but I'm glad everything straightened itself out in the end. Well, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna crash here for a bit. These chairs are so comfy. Likewise, I could use a breather. Sadly, our work isn't done. I have plenty of questions for Rouge and especially Shadow. Oh, it seems like the door to the next car is open. Amy must have kept it open when she passed through earlier. Then that's our cue to leave. See you later, Vector and Espio. Give them heck, and if you need any meat chopped up, say the word. I'll keep my poetry sharp for you both. A murderer is on the loose, while doors keep getting locked. Tick tick tock goes the clock, while our heroes are on are in the caboose. At this point, I'm feeling pretty confident in our detective abilities. We're really doing this. Come on, Miles Prower. Let's see what's next. Coming. You sure you don't want to stay and look at all the great books a little longer? The mystery calls. Okay, the investigation continues. The casino car. I like the chow with the mustache and sunglasses. All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Rouge, there you are! We have a lot to say to you. We've visited every train car so far and everyone said they've seen you wandering about. It's high time you told us why! My my, talk about a warm welcome. Quick to the point, aren't you, darling? And I see you've brought the Microwave Master with you. Ah, uh, please don't let that be my legacy. Tails is right. Folks have brought you up a lot. Care to explain? Tell him, Rouge. We're going... We're gonna need the help. Blaze? Alright, I've been hunting for a treasure rum rumored to be stored here on the train. Treasure? They certainly didn't tell me about treasure in the interview. Since I'm part business tycoon, part purveyor of fine collectibles, I knew I had to find it. Tell them what it is, Rouge. Alright, well... It's a Fabergé Chow Egg. Wow, that does sound extravagant. But please don't tell me you accepted Amy's birthday invite only to find that egg. A woman can have multiple goals. I gave Amy her birthday present already, so everything's well taken care of. She roped me in on the hunt immediately. I stayed here while she searched the train cars for clues. I deduce that the Fabergé Chow Egg is here, in this train car, locked in a safe. Wait, so the treasure is real? It's actually here? And what did you manage to find, Rouge? Oh, well, why don't you both take a look? I found the train's blueprints in the library car, with the safe code written right on it. The score of a lifetime! The train's blueprints? Please, Rouge, let us see that. Uh-uh-uh, finders keepers, sweetheart. There's a problem. We need your assistance. What kind of problem? <clears throat> The elevator behind the security guard leads us right to the room holding the Fabergé Chow Egg. But we're not getting anywhere without the guard's access card. We need a plan to get that card to use the elevator, and our chance of success grows with everyone's help. So, you want us to help you steal the Fabergé Chow Egg? 
Blaze, you don't have a problem with this? I see no issues here. Sounds like a fine business venture. Ah, her lore card must be influencing her decisions here. Either that or breaking the rules must be refreshing for a princess. Miles Prower, do you have an opinion on this? <laughs> Stealing is for squares or it's time for a five finger discount. Uh, it's time for a five finger discount. Well, I suppose if both Blaze and Miles Prower are in. Okay, let's get that Fabergé Chow Egg. <laughs> that's the ticket. Happy to have you both on the team. Now, we must plan. A whiteboard. Oh boy, what have we gotten ourselves into? Access to the Fabergé Chow Egg. Room is behind the locked elevator door. The security guard has the access card. Do we... Attack, bribe, or distract? I will go with distract. Distract them! Perfect! We're all charming enough for that to work. That was actually a really nice thing to say. Miles Prower, is everything okay? I've never seen you smile like that. Seems they don't know how to take a compliment. If I'm gonna be in a casino, my poker face needs work. Okay, who's distracting the security guard? I think we go... Tails. Sure, I could be the distraction. I don't like the way he said that. Veto. I'm with Blaze. His delivery was shaky. No, really, I could do it. Sorry, buddy, but I think you'll be better off elsewhere. In that case, who should we choose? Okay, who's distracting the security guard? I think Blaze is probably the choice here. Think you could distract the guard, Blaze? In my life, I've never let a single person down. I won't falter. G great Her vo voice was so stoic. I have chills. Well, I trust her. Moving on. What's the distraction? Um, let's see. Pretend the claw machine is stuck. Who puts a claw machine in a casino? This'll work great as a distraction. Let's continue the plan. With the guard distracted, Rouge, how will you get the access card? Pick their pocket. I'll snatch the access key, no problem. That chow in uniform won't notice a thing. Excellent. We can count on you, Rouge. Try not to take anything else from them if you can help it. No promises. With the card obtained, we need to get Blaze out of here. There. Miles Prower, what's your plan? Um. <laughs> then you'd be marrying into the royal family. What? What is your heritage? Any war crimes I should know about? What? Well, I, um... You dress far too plain. You would need a complete refashioning immediately. Uh, you know what? Maybe we should try something else. Interesting. You give up far too easily as well. We'd have to work on your fortitude. I said we'll try something else. With the card obtained, we need to get Blaze out of there. Okay. Uh, say there's a... What? <laughs> Push him over. I'm still not comfortable with any violence here. It's just a little push. That chow is low to the ground. It won't hurt them. But if they start crying, it'd bring unwanted attention to us. Why is someone who cries so easily a security guard? <laughs> Decent point. Let's think of something else. Okay. I guess we're going with, uh... That one. Absolutely vile. I can think of nothing worse. Despicable. I would never allow such a thing in my kingdom. The guard would go running immediately. I'm sure of it. Great, and with the guard distracted, we'll all head to the elevator. And just like that, we all make it in the elevator. Inside, we... Uh... Celebratory dance. Now that's a proper victory! Oh no, one last security measure we didn't account for! What do we do about the mechanical arms attacking from the ceiling? Oh, have tails disabled. 
I should be able to disengage them. I just need some time. Well, that leads us nicely to our next question. Oh no, Tails is taking a while and the arms are tightening their grip. Um... <laughs> imagine you're not in pain. Tails managed to do it. Darlings, I'm happy to say this plan is perfect. If everyone is ready, it's time to execute. I'm ready. Let's begin. Alright, let's see what's up that elevator. Oh, look at that. It looks like it worked. I knew the plan would go off without a hitch. We couldn't have made it this far without you both. You have my gratitude. Our planning beforehand was very thorough, I must admit, and it was executed to perfection. Enough chatter. Now we claim our real prize. I have the safe code right here on the, these blueprints. Let's claim our Fabergé Chow Egg. <laughs> I like how we did all this and like we just ignored everything else that's going on. What could they possibly be storing in all these? This is the casino car. I suppose it's all expensive gems and gold. Maybe rings, too. Rings? You can find those lying about in the grass. That's of no interest to us. Let's focus on our real prize, shall we? Right, we gotta find the safe with the Fabergé Chow Egg inside. No question, this has got to be the safe with our treasure. Enter the code on the blueprints and find out, Rouge. On it, sweetheart. Let's see. 23, 04, 01. Oh, wow. It's here. Ha <laughs> ha, I have it. All right. Before anyone sees us, let's get out of here. Hold on, kiddo. We can't be so hasty. You truly think that's all there is to this egg? No further secrets whatsoever? Rouge, spit it out. What are you hiding? Only three of these eggs were ever made, each hiding their own individual secret. No one knows the secret because anyone who's opened one of these has never lived to tell the tale. You can open the egg? You sure can. And all of you will bear witness to its secret. Rouge, I don't know if you should. All you need to do is twist it. Tick, 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 tick. Uh. Uh-oh. Rouge, has no one lived to tell the egg's secret because each egg is a bomb? I think you're onto something, kid. It sure sounds like a bomb. We need to dispose of that egg. Now. Dispose of it after all our hard work, Rouge. Fine, fine, but what do we do? Where do I put this thing? That's an excellent question. What do we do with a bomb? Put it back in the safe. <laughs> Twist the egg again. Throw and lock it in the safe. Toss the egg in the elevator. Eat the egg. Take one for the team. Open it up and see if there's wires to cut. Smash the egg against the wall. Have Blaze set the egg on fire. Let Tails cool it down with his tails. Stomp on the egg. Rock the egg to sleep. Flip the egg upside down. Chaos control the egg away. Let Rouge kiss the egg. Tell the egg to stop. Let it finish ticking and see what happens. <laughs> oh. Let's, uh... Quick, put the egg bag or back, Rouge. Uh, okay, fine. I'm, it's going back in. Tails, the safe won't lock, the door's staying open. Wh what Close the door and twist the dial. I obviously am. There must be some weird way to relock the door. There's no other buttons or dials, how are you supposed to... We don't have time to mess with this. Think of something else. Um... Uh, rock the egg to sleep. So you think this egg is just cranky and needs a nap? Is that what you're telling us? Everyone's always mad at the idea guy. Um, chaos control. Where did you hear about chaos control? 
Doesn't matter, we need a Chaos Emerald to be able to do that. Well, dang it. Um... Twist it again. Great idea! Stop, stop, that's clearly not working. Let's think of something else. Oh my god, <laughs> this is... Uh... Are you insane? Do you want us to just blow up? We need to dispose of the ball, Miles Prower. That is our goal. Listen, listen, I get that, but what if the egg isn't a bomb? Wait, that's right! Miles Prower, I think you're onto something! Huh? What's right? Spit it out, kiddo, we don't have any time. Sorry, it's just Espio did say something interesting when we quizzed him about the train's manual. Uh, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. Can also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train. Oh, that's actually a good point. Those robot arms that attacked us in the elevator seem to have a lot of functions here on the train. If a bomb was brought onto the train disguised as this Fabergé Chow Egg, the arms would have detected it and wouldn't have allowed it on. The only other person, the only other person who knows the coming and going of the train is the conductor. He surely wouldn't allow such a thing either. So if we're out of options, I think we should wait and see what happens. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. We wait. Okay. The egg, it opened. It's hollow, not a bomb at all. You both really were on to something. Phew. My, my. Well, that's one way to get the heart racing. I'm completely relieved. My hunch was right, thankfully. Eee, and look what's inside. Oh, it's the little chow pendant. Wow, look at that sparkle. And it's so heavy, too. The final secret to the Fabergé Chow Egg is a chow covered in gems. It's perfect. It's exquisite. It's revolutionary. Is she drooling over a sparkly ornament? Though, I must admit, it is stunning. You said no one lived to tell the Fabergé Chow Egg's secret. I wonder why if the egg wasn't a bomb. <laughs> because they weren't tough as tough as us. I don't know. Who cares? What a precious treasure! A beauty to behold! Maybe they naturally died of old age and just kept the secret with them. Uh, as much fun as this has been, we should get out of here before we're spotted. Good call. Let's go. No one seems to suspect anything. The security guard is back at their post. Hope they subdued the drink coaster fiend, okay? Thank you both for your assistance. That hunt was exactly the thrill I was seeking. Stealing was... strangely fun? But I'd prefer to never do it again. Now Rouge. Rouge? She's completely absorbed in that bedazzled chow. What? What? What is it, darling? About those blueprints, now that you're done with them, maybe we could take a look? Well, I appreciate your assistance. It's as I said, finders keepers. I'll need them a little longer in case I missed any other treasures, but I promise to let you take a peek later. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I'm sure you get it, sweetheart. You can't just add sweetheart to the end of a sentence to make things better. But I don't think there's any reasoning with her. She's more powerful than me. Well, we'll get out of your way for now, then. We have a murder mystery to attend to. Before you go, Shadow gave me and Rouge one of these. He passed through earlier. Let me unlock the door so you can continue forward. You know, we've had a lot of people mention you, Rouge. But we also have just as much suspicion about Shadow. He's unpredictable, that one. Good luck to you. The door is unlocked. Both of you stay safe. Thanks again. 
Will do. Come on, Miles Prower. Let's head out. Gotcha. The mystery continues. So we get a break from the mystery for a quick heist. Um, I actually need to be right back again. So let's go ahead and set this. Set that back and I will be back in just a few moments.
All right, I am back. Um, so let's uh, carry on. So we just helped Rouge and Blaze just heist around here. <clears throat> Anything to see in here? Hmm, should I give the slot machines a try? Yeah, I play the slots. Let's see, big money, big money. Well, I lost. Do I try again? Yeah, do it again. Big money, big money. I lost. Try again. Wonder if I can... <laughs> Miles per hour? What do you expect to happen if you keep playing? Big money? I'm gonna get it this time, you'll see. Well, I lost, but maybe next time. <laughs> can I just keep doing this? You know the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different outcome, right? I'm starting to get worried here. Don't worry, Tails. I got it this time. Well, I lost. <laughs> Have you ever heard of the sunk cost fallacy? The sunk cost fallacy? <laughs> the phenomenon whereby a person is reluctant to abandon a strategy or course of action because they have invested heavily in it even when it is clear that abandonment would be more beneficial. Of course I've heard of it. Why do you ask? No reason. Alright, big money, big money. Well, I lost. Uh, I'll be over here when you decide you're done. Alright, big money, big money. Well, I lost. I think that might be all the dialogue for this. Okay, we'll move on. Oh, thank goodness! I really thought I lost you there for a second. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Okay, so that's... Looks like other than that, it's just these two and this table. <laughs> Dr. Eggman's built a lot of casinos to run around in, but I've never actually sat down to play any for fun. Well, wanna play Blackjack? I don't know how to play that. Easy, let me show you. Miles Prower, we simply don't have time for this. We must avenge Sonic. Probably a good point. Only probably. Pulling off that heist was much more enjoyable than the rest of these casino games. Do you think you could go over your alibi again for us, Blaze? When Amy began the murder mystery, what did you do? Sure. We left the dining hall, and Rouge pulled me aside to talk about the Fabergé chow egg. We walked and talked to the casino car, where we then went our separate ways. I scoped around and discovered the egg was here. After that, I played the slot machines. The train did a sudden jolt, which was odd, but I didn't leave the car. I gave Amy her present when she stopped by. Shadow passed through as well. But it was brief. He gave me the exit key and left. Interesting. Do you have any sort of proof you were here playing the slots? I do, actually. I kept winning, so I saved the cash-out voucher. You can take a look. Let's see here. 14,000 credits? That... that's an enormous payout. How did you... I'm just naturally lucky, I suppose. That smirk. She's so self-aware. Well, thanks for your time, Blaze. Anytime. And Tails, do tell Cream I said hi, won't you? Of course, can do. Ooh, pile of chips. That's Dr. Eggman's logo. I suppose he does deal a lot with casinos. He's an evil scientist that's always causing trouble for us and Sonic. Hmm, every poker chip I've personally seen has had Eggman's mug on it, so I'm not too surprised to see this here. That's fair. I suppose I shouldn't be so surprised, then. Eggman's involved somehow. Thanks again for your help earlier. Now, what can I do for you, darlings? Alright, let's just confirm the alibi. Do you think you could go over your alibi again for us, Rouge? When Amy began the murder mystery, what did you do? 
Well, once Amy paired Blaze and I up, I immediately roped her in on my Fabergé chow egg hunt. We split up at the casino car and I went searching for the blueprints. I walked back through the library and saloon cars till I found it in the library car. Did you see Sonic at all during your search? Sonic? No, I don't believe so. I remember him in the dining car at the beginning. Do you have anything to support that claim? Listen, plenty of people saw me poking around and I have the blueprints on me. I hardly had time to chase Sonic down, murder him, and find the blueprints myself. We appreciate you answering our questions, Rouge. You take care now. Likewise, darling. Okay, so actually the two of them have relatively solid alibis, though Blaze's is a little shakier. I feel like it's like, just ask the Chow security guard, who still, fantastic mustache. Jackpot. Knight's Pinball. No cheating. Visit Twinkle Park. No cheating. Yeah, oh, there's an arm here. The capabilities of these robot arms are quite spectacular. I'm impressed every time we see them. I can't help but wonder how they're controlled. I don't know, the conductor was ordering it around a bit earlier. At the very least, things operate much smoother with them here. I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, that's true. They're very versatile. Look how this one's playing slots. Not questioning that at all. Alright, well, looks like that's all the information we're getting here for now. Ready to get going? Let's find Shadow. Let's do it! <clears throat> Lounge car. Now is as good a time as any to clean out my pockets. I know you won't talk, but I know exactly why you've been locking those doors. It's hard to get a word in as you talk over me. I have my reasons. I... No reason is convincing enough. It's inconceivable what you did. Hey, hey, what's going on? Hmph. I see you made it here, Tails. But I didn't expect the Iron Chef as well. Well, see what you say. We'll see what you say when your microwave chili dog's delicious. I al I'd also like to know why you've been locking doors throughout the train, Shadow. Well, it seems our Amy already knows, so ask her. Hmm. I'm not saying a thing. You lot will have to tell me why. Now, if you could leave me be, I have an appointment coming up. An appointment? Who wants to meet with him? Well, Miles Prower, it seems like Shadow isn't gonna talk. Let's do some investigating. Alright, but ready to find some answers, Tails? Indubitably, my dear Miles Prower! Hmm. A cupboard. Miles Prower, could you open the wardrobe, please? Sure. Wait, is there a reason you want me to do it? What if something falls out? Or worse, someone leaps out. I just think you should do it. Eh, <sighs> fine. Alright, watch a pro. Act. <laughs> All this dust, you opened the door too fast. It blew everywhere. <laughs> well, that was exciting. Ooh. Hmm? Tails, do you see this? A pull string? Miles Prower! What? It's gotta activate something. What the? The back of the wardrobe opened! There is a full passageway back here. Come on, we have to see where it leads! He's curious, this must mean something big. To the library? This is... The library! There's a secret passage from the lounge to the library. I don't believe it. Shoo! Quick, back through the passage before they spot us! We need to add that to our inventory! Hidden passage, add to your inventory. Hmm. Okay. 
A key ring? Must be Shadows, the locksmith. <laughs> Interesting. There's only two keys. I figured a locksmith would have a bunch. Want to take it? Yeah, let's take it. So we've got the key ring. They told us about this in my interview. The lounge has a computer complete with internet access for casual browsing. How lovely! Seems convenient. It is. A shame to be on the computer and missing these gorgeous views, though. I feel like if you're using the computer here, you must really need to use it. Seems a printer is hooked up to the computer. Can we print something? Sonic singing a song or Sonic rowing a boat? The boat. Huh. This printer is surprisingly tricky to use. Tricky? Yeah, the user interface isn't very clear, but I won't let it stump me. <laughs> and here you go. Yep, this is exactly what I asked for. That is indeed Sonic rowing a boat. I'll, uh, quietly set this back on the printer. Ooh, trash can. Tails. No. Tails. I think we should check the trash bin. Every trash bin has been empty, Miles Prower, and you've been disappointed every time. Are you going to get sad again if there's nothing in the trash bin, Miles Prower? There's always something in the trash bin. <sighs> Alright, let's check the trash bin. What's this? <laughs> Vindication. Someone printed out the front page of a ticket website. It's for the band Hot Honey. Interesting. Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Who cares what it is? Let's add it to our inventory. Are we sure this isn't just trash? I'll let you have this. There's always success if you check the trash bin. Crumpled paper. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Shadow and find out what really happened. Wait, did Espio not hear Shadow come back through because he took the secret passage? Ooh. That's an interesting possibility. Hey, it's the Big Chow Band! Play us a diddy- Oh, no, give us a jam. Groovin'. <laughs> that was spiritual. I feel reawakened. Glad you two finally caught up. I'm surprised it took you so long to get here. I thought you wanted to save Sonic. We've been thorough! Do you have any clues for us? Just a hot tip, but all will be revealed in due time. I think I'll be shedding a big light on this whole case. <laughs> Your sharing is caring. No way! Journalist reporter Amy Rose is always first to reveal a scoop. When you're ready to challenge Shadow, talk to him. Then I'll be ready. I'm so curious what it is. She seems confident. We'll hold you to it! Ooh. Hmm, interesting. So, I'm guessing after I interrogate Shadow, I'll probably be interrogating Amy. Why did you come over here? There's nothing I can help you, either of you, with. I ask that you leave me be. <laughs> that stare. So cold. You know, maybe we will get out of here, actually. Miles Prower, we certainly will not! Shadow, we have questions for you! Will you three get out? I'm busy. As I said, I have an appointment to attend to. Sorry, but this is important. Shadow, we've questioned everyone on this train, and every single person has mentioned running into you. You've been locking every door in this train, and... And I know why. Pray tell, why was I locking all the doors? <laughs> it's time to reveal my hot tip. Hope everyone's ready for a scoop found by yours truly. We're ready. According to the map, the next car is the conductor's car where Sonic was stationed. This door right here is the in the lounge car is the only door that leads to the conductor's car. Following. So Shadow was locking all the doors for one reason and one reason alone. To keep Sonic 
from escaping the conductor's car. So you think Shadow was trapping Sonic? I sure do. He locked the conductor's car, then locked all the others. So one locked door wasn't suspicious. Pure conjecture. You all, get out and leave me be. Well, my source can back up these claims. They will remain anonymous, but I think the point stands. My source claims they never saw Sonic again after he went to the conductor's car. Why? Because he was trapped and couldn't leave the conductor's car. Reckless speculation. Is the logic sound, though? Was Shadow trapping Sonic? I'll play along and follow this train of logic, Amy. If Shadow did lock the door to the conductor's car, imprisoning Sonic, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Exactly. I think Miles Prower and I can explain the car change, however. Miles Prower, what evidence do we have that shows Sonic could have gotten to the dining car? The secret passage. Okay, just get my thoughts in order. Time to think. Oops. Yeah, without having to worry about those pitfalls, I can actually take those pretty pretty well. Miles Prower and I found a hidden passage in the wardrobe that leads right to the library car. What? A secret passage? So someone could have used that passage, snuck through the library car, walked past the distracted boys playing arcade, and safely arrived at the dining car. Excellent work, Miles Prower. Hmm, this adjusts my theory a bit. So Shadow murdered Sonic in the conductor car, but then thought the crime scene being so close to his station was suspicious. Shadow picked up Sonic, locked the door to the conductor car on the way out, and dropped the body off at the dining car. Honestly, because of the thing in the trash, I'm pretty sure Shadow just forgot to get a gift for Amy. <laughs> Went on the internet to get something and didn't want anyone to know. Are you officially accusing Shadow of murder? I am, but of course, this is just a theory. I, uh, don't have any evidence to back this up other than my hot scoop. Ha! <laughs> Seems Tails and I were more thorough than you. If Shadow's not going to talk, then I'll humor you once again. If Shadow traveled through the hidden passage and appeared in the library car, then how did Espio and Vector not see him? Well, um, I suppose it would be hard to sneak around two people. Miles Prower, do you have any guesses? Oh, well, Espio and Vector didn't see Shadow because... Espio was... actually, both of these are probably true. That's true. Vector was with Knuckles and wouldn't have seen Shadow enter the library car. See? Things are falling into place. But what about Espio? I believe Espio was behind a bookshelf at a reading table. Or at a table, reading. Espio reading in the library checks out. That's what he told me, too. He's lying. What was that, Shadow? When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at that whatever game, I left the saloon car. I spent some time looking for Espio, but he was not there. He was not in the library car. Like I believe you, you're currently my number one suspect. Actually, that lines up. Espio was a little dodgy when we uh, approached him about not seeing Shadow. Why were you even searching for Espio, huh? If you must know, I needed to give him a key. As if. Why would a locksmith be giving away his keys? 
Shadow has been giving you a lot of keys, actually. Everyone but us seems to have one. That's true. Everyone's been able to unlock the next door for us. I didn't know that. Shadow's been passing out keys? Perhaps. Miles Prower and I can further validate Shadow's claims. We can do what? Ah, Miles Prower, what evidence supports Shadow's claim that he was giving keys away? The key ring. Time to think. There's only one reason. There's exactly two keys on that keyring. Those were the two keys Shadow meant to give to Espio and Vector. No way! Well, what of his own key? Couldn't one of those be for him? I have my own key on me. Tch, interesting. So, let's say Shadow's telling the truth. Then what? If Shadow didn't murder Sonic and bring him to the dining car, then what possible reason could he have for locking all the doors? Hmm. Is Shadow really innocent in Sonic's murder? I think Miles Prower and I know exactly why Shadow was locking all the doors. Why does he keep including me too? First, Amy, I just have one question for you. Has everyone today given you a birthday present? Oh, most everyone, yeah, everyone's been so sweet. Just, uh, Shadow and Sonic haven't given me anything yet, but that's okay. Just them being here is enough. Understood. Thank you, Amy. Miles Prower? Ah, uh, yes, Tails? I have a theory, but I need a piece of evidence to support it. We know Shadow walked through every train car locking the exits, and he gave everyone stationed in the cars a key. Except for you, me, and Amy. That's right, the conductor gave Amy her birthday key, not Shadow. So why would he lock all the doors and not give us a key? Shadow wanted to keep us away. Was Shadow locking all the doors to keep us away? Not us, Miles Prower. I'm making a leap here, but stick with me. I think Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. What? Excuse me? Shadow would never do that. It's my birthday. You know it's my birthday, right? Don't, don't you, Shadow? Ah, how dare. Miles Prower, show me evidence. Huh? Shadow was trying to keep me away. Prove it. You've been so thorough or whatever. What proof do you have? Okay, okay. Well, I was... Okay, so the crumpled piece of paper. Just gotta think. You... you went rooting through the trash? Huh? What is that? We found this in the trash bin next to the printer. It's of a band's ticket website. Tails, don't... <gasps> ah! This is Hot Honey's website! No way! I love them! Uh, Hot Honey? It's the band I'm currently obsessed with! Jeremy B is, ah, my current favorite. All the members have B after their name? Yeah, see? Isn't it cute? I haven't gone to any of their shows yet to see them, though. 
Their tickets are really hard to get. You have to be ready online at a specific time and they sell out in minutes. So the question becomes, why was this paper found in the train car Shadow was stationed in? Watch yourself, Fox. The situation is becoming much clearer. I don't know how Tails figured things out so soon, but I see where he's heading. The printout of the Hot Honey Band's ticket website exists because... Shadow was buying tickets for Amy. What? Shadow? Is this true? Are you trying to get me concert tickets? For my birthday? I've done a poor job hiding the surprise, it seems. Yes, I'm trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday. Sh shadow I used that printer earlier and I found it difficult to manage. When logging on to the website, did you print the homepage by accident? How the... yes, that's exactly what happened. I'm not fantastic with computers, admittedly. I can't believe this, after I accused you of murder. Spill everything, Shadow! The cat's out of the bag! I want to know everything! Fine. The surprise is ruined anyway. Oof, probably our fault there. Ah, sorry. That's all a detective's job is, I suppose. Hmm. When I arrived on the train, I realized everyone else had a gift except for me. Worried for my social status, I immediately began brainstorming ideas and saw the computer. I remembered Amy had never seen Hot Honey live and looked it up. That's when I accidentally printed the homepage. The concert tickets weren't actually on sale, I realized, but would be available soon. Is that the appointment you keep speaking of? The time you're able to actually buy the concert tickets? Precisely. I haven't purchased the tickets yet. I knew I had to keep Amy away while I waited to buy the tickets, so I began locking all the doors. But for the safety of everyone, I handed out keys so they could get in and out, telling them not to let anyone through. It didn't work. Amy still managed to make it here somehow. It's because the conductor gave me this. This key opens up any door on the train. I've gotten through every locked door with ease. The plan's fatal flaw, the birthday key. I should have guessed. It's a well-known privilege. Shadow Eye, your gesture is so sweet, and after I accused you, too. How about this? Let's buy the tickets later, and to make it up to you, you can come with me. Uh, I, uh, I don't know if... Too late! It's happening! Eee, can't wait! The show of a lifetime! Uh, fine. Happy birthday, Amy. I expect lots of pictures from the concert, you two. Hmm. Seems the mystery of Shadow's locked doors has finally reached the end. I blame my source for all this. That wasn't a hot tip at all, leading me to believe Shadow was behind everything. My credibility as a journalist reporter, down the drain! Amy, I am curious, who is the source for your, uh, big scoop? I would like to know as well. Sorry, strictly confidential. My credibility may be shot, but my principles must stay intact. I have a strong feeling I know exactly who your source is. But we need to investigate one last area. The conductor's car. I'll come with you. I'd love to know who's been dragging my name through the mud. And I'll join as well. Time to see this through to the end. We're more than happy to have you both. Miles Prower, I hate to say it, but I believe our investigation is finally coming to a close. The pieces are coming together. The full picture is becoming clearer and clearer. Let's end this, Tales. We'll pin down Sonic's murderer for good. Right on, let's do it. Let's go to the conductor's car. Let's finish this. It's now or never. The conductor is not here. Should really sort out my evidence before I continue. 
In my short time working on this train, I haven't visited the conductor car yet. Feels empty? Wait, where's the conductor? That's odd. I haven't seen him throughout the train at all. Last we saw him was when we he left the dining car. Something clearly happened here. Nothing we can't figure out. Come on, time to investigate. Let's crack on. A pin. Huh? What's this? Was someone playing darts? That's not a throwing dart. That's a blow dart. Someone brought a weapon onto this train. Hmm, that shouldn't be possible. Tails is right. The train detects any weapons on a passenger before letting them on board. Let's make note of this. Blow dart has been added to my inventory. This robot arm has been completely torn off. Yuck! how creepy. That arm is powerful. It'd be tough to break through out of its grip. A lot of people here have the strength to tear this off, but the question is, why? Confrontation definitely occurred in this room. We should log this. Aye, aye, sir. I think we found enough clues. Let's talk to Amy and solve this once and for all. Huh. One last trash bin. Oh, okay. I don't need to check the trash bin. <laughs> You're satisfied with finding a clue here before, huh? I know they say always check the trash bin, but I'm good. I'll go out on a high note. That's fair. Did this fall over when the train sped up? Not sure. Wait, what's it say on the mug? A cup of joe in your hand, wife by your side, paradise. All right, all right. We get it. He loves his wife. I didn't realize these robot arms could also drive the train. Yeah, but they can't access every function on the train like the conductor can. Did they teach you how to drive it? Oh, no, just how to work the microwave. I recognize some of these functions. Maybe I could drive the train. I would completely trust you to drive the train. Same, actually. It's true. You could drive this train flawlessly. Ah, guys! <laughs> wow, the conductor looks so young in his uniform. He's been here a long time. After 32 years, he told me he's finally retiring. He said he's headed to Spagonia with his wife. I hope they have a great trip. 32 years is a long time. I wish them a lot of happiness. May any future f sorrow be fleeting. Uh, yes, I wish that too. I've noticed these screens throughout the entire train. Yeah, they're used to show information and advertisements. They're nice, the picture is really clear. I would watch a full movie on one. I saw a slide that said, Happy Birthday, Amy. That was so cute. The next ad being for nasal medication was a little jarring, though. The high quality screens probably didn't do that ad any favors. Not at all. Perhaps too much detail. Okay, so I think that's it. What does Shadow have to say? Isn't it odd? We haven't seen the conductor since the dining car. I figured he's had to drive the train the entire time. I'd guess the same, but the train's quick speed up is odd, and we currently don't know where he is. I hope he's alright. Admittedly, I do miss his laugh. Fa ha 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 ha. Hmm. Alright. Well, you two, you think you have enough evidence for me to call everyone here? It's high time we named a suspect. What do you think, Miles Prower? Ready to solve this case? Um, am I? <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure I, I've, I see the through line right now, but uh, let's see where this goes. Hello everyone, this is the birthday girl speaking. Please report to the conductor car at once. everyone. Wonderful to have you all here. Tails and I are ready to announce our prime suspect, with assistance from Miles Prower. 
Why hasn't Sonic shown up? Hmm? Vector? Real quick, can you come with me to get Sonic? He must still be pretending to be dead, lazy bum. Ready, let's go get him. Let me tell you, darlings, this has been a delight. A delight. The air in here is so intense, I love it. Nothing like the thrill of a mystery. The train has so many amenities. I feel so catered to. Admittedly, I've been having a lot of fun myself. The amusement of a chase. I see why you're a detective outside of this mystery, Espio. You and I love a good thrill, it seems. But on this train, I am but a humble poet. I'd be willing to do an event like this again. It says here the train does escape rooms as well. I love escape rooms! Count me in! I'm so glad everyone's having a good time. Maybe we could ride train just to relax sometime? <laughs> yeah, that would be fun too! Ah! What in the world? That... that's Amy's voice! Quick, where's Amy? I think Sonic's actually dead. <laughs> he, he, he's not responding to us. Sonic, Sonic! What, is he hurt? Why isn't he moving? Sonic, Sonic, can you hear us? He's banged up. If there is pulse, it's weak. Set him down, Vector. Make sure his head is propped up. I'll help you. I knew one of you would take this too far. Which one of you did this to Sonic? On my birthday, no less! Could... could this really have been one of us? There's no one else here, Knuckles! So I'll ask again. Which one of you did this? This is inexcusable. Sonic's hurt. I'm going to expose the monster who did this. Tails not having it. I thought Sonic could handle anything, but somehow he met his match. I'm going to help you get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. Me too. Same. We're going to figure out exactly what happened in this room and punish the one responsible. Sonic, he really was hurt this whole time, and I did nothing. I'm righting my wrongs. I must take down the murderer. Tails, Miles Prower, I have a big question to ask. Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> um... So, blow dart and a broken arm. Other than that, I have the menu and the train map. Who did do this? Um, I think I have to go with whoever, the person who has the flimsiest alibi of everyone, and that's Espio. Considering his reaction was odd when we, um... When we uh, approached him about not seeing Shadow, and then there is an actual viable way he would have not seen Shadow. So, yeah. Let's go with the obvious answer here. Espio, you were the one to murder Sonic, weren't you? Hmm? Hmm? I did no such thing, my young friend. But if it's a battle of wits you wish, I would love to discuss things. Let's discuss. What the? You're accusing Espio? We already talked about this. The man was reading. You have nothing. Restating Espio's alibi would be helpful for everyone, I think. Espio was locked in the library car reading. He only had access to the saloon car during the murder. However, 
New evidence has come to light that needs to be addressed. Oh, that's right. Could I fill everyone? Oh, I don't know why I stopped reading for that one. What did we find that brings into question Espio's alibi? Discovered a hidden passage. Espio could have left the library at any time because Tails and I found a hidden passage from the library car to the lounge car. In the lounge, the hidden passage exits behind the wardrobe. I feel lucky we even found it. Not only would Espio avoid any locked doors, but that would put him in the car just before this one. You have no evidence. I used any secret passage. I answered all your questions without flaw. I was reading the entire time, remember? It's true. You didn't miss a question. But I think Miles Prower and I can explain that too. Miles Prower? How did Espio know everything in the train manual he was reading? Ninja like him. Speed reads. Espio is a ninja. He's fluent in 17 different languages and remarkably disciplined. What are you getting at? You picked a random book from the shelf and memorized it. Just to guarantee yourself a clean alibi. What? Th that's absurd. Memorizing a whole book? I know this is a talented bunch, but that seems like a lot. I don't know. It is plausible. Espio is particularly skilled. I've known Espio a long time. He once speed read a book I was reading just to spoil the ending for me. <laughs> if I'm right, and Espio quickly memorized a book before entering the hidden passage, then Espio could have met Sonic in the conductor's car where he was murdered. Since we're only talking in what-ifs, let me throw something at you. How was I to know about the hidden passage? It's hidden. Th that's right, how could Espio have known it was there? You said it yourself, kid. You were lucky to even find the passage. Miles Prower and I might not have the evidence to answer your question, but we know someone who does. Miles Prower? Who here has evidence to prove Espio knew about the hidden passage? Oh. Interesting. Who would? Would it be Vector? I think that's the obvious thing he's been covering for Espio this whole time. And he was conveniently out of the car when Espio would have needed to be out of the car. I think I'm going to go with that. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I did not follow that through line. <laughs> that wasn't exactly who I had in mind. Maybe you could give me a hint? Oh! It's Rouge. <laughs> they told us we could ta see something later, and now's the time to take a look. Because she has the blueprints. Who told us that? Who here has evidence to prove Espio knew about the Hidden Passage? Rouge. Rouge, we need to see those blueprints. Blueprints? You stole blueprints? Whatever. I already used it to scout them. Uh, scout for more treasures. Came up cold. You can have it. Blueprints are added to my inventory. This right here is a blueprint to the entire train. Espio could have easily used this to find the hidden passage. What makes you ever think I ever... I ever saw those blueprints. Rouge had them. Well, Miles Prower, do you have an answer for him? How could Espio have seen those blueprints? Uh, I mean, Espio found them before Rouge did. Rouge says he found them in the library. Rouge, where did you find the blueprints? Oh, uh, the library car. It was stuffed with the brochures. I checked the saloon car first, then found the blueprints after leaving. So that means Espio had time to find the blueprints and discover the hidden passage. In my theory, Espio looked at the blueprints and then used the hidden passage to get to Sonic. Within Amy's guidelines, the murderer can kill a single participant however they choose. 
The logistics are still vague, but Miles Prower and I have evidence on how Sonic was murdered. I'm unsure how much harm SBO caused Sonic, but Miles Prower and I have evidence on how it was done. Oh, this is rich. Pray tell. If I murdered Sonic, how did I do it? Blow dart. Okay, now to think. What would Sonic do? Oops. Ah. Oops. Ah, crap. I was close. Lost a few too many rings. This blow dart was found here, in the conductor room. Uh, I believe Espio used this to knock Sonic unconscious. Ah, so you mean Sonic might just be knocked out? I'm unsure. He's more banged up than what a blow dart would do. According to Amy's rules, a blow dart counts as a kill for the murder mystery. My theory, therefore, is plausible. Plausible, you say? Then why are there so many holes in it? You deny the allegations? Of course I do. Let me present the first fatal flaw. If I knocked out Sonic in the conductor's car, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Ah, shoot, that's a good point. But Tails was on to something, I'm sure of it. I locked all the doors, and Espio didn't have a key. He would have had to take the hidden passage back. If he took the hidden passage back, he'd end up back in the library. Miles Prower and I know another way it could have been done. We, we do. What evidence we need for a closer look? The arm? Nope, that is not it. Oh, again, the blueprints. Oh wait, is it the map? Nope, it's probably the blueprints then. <laughs> Alright. Time to think. Ooh. Ah! Okay, got it first try this time. Alright, let's take a look. If Espio didn't take the secret passage to get to the dining car, then what route did he take to get Sonic there? There's, there's a path above the conductor car, and it goes all the way to the dining car. Huh? Huh? I didn't even see that area. Is that some sort of long attic? According to these blueprints, there's a hidden path in the ceiling that leads straight to the dining car. Perhaps you can access it through the vent over there? D the vent, of course! That must be the entrance to the path. Allow me to check it out. My word. There is a path back here. And a track. A track, huh? A track for the robot arms, I think. This must be the path the arms take to move through the throughout the train. So you're saying... I somehow fit with Sonic in that vent and took him to the dining car. 
Tails, you're a smart kid, so I know you realize we both couldn't fit up there. Espio's right. This is feeling flimsy, Tails. I need an answer. My name's getting dragged around here. How on earth would I get Sonic through that vent? By removing the arm. Alright. Ah. I'm losing too many rings. I'm panicking. Ah, one. Oh, wait. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Thought I was going to be one short. They gave me that extra row, though. Thank you, game. Everyone saw the broken robot arm on the ground, right? Clearly, a fight broke out here, and one of these robot arms was a casualty. But what if one of the robot arms actually caught Sonic? Knuckles said there's a track the robot arms use that continues through the vent. A robot arm could have grabbed Sonic passed out from a blow dart and carried him to the dining car. C could that be true? Take a look at Sonic. He's clearly banged up. Could the fight have been between Sonic and the robot arms? Well, I can see that. Those arms do look powerful. Sonic doesn't fall easy, but if he's woozy from a blow dart, the arms could have gotten him. Interesting theory tales, but you have to admit there's... these are a lot of coincidences. I might not be able to link everything directly to SBO yet but I have found one inconsistency. What kind of inconsistency? Someone here received false information, and I believe that information came from Espio. Who received that information? Amy. Amy, you received a hot, or Amy, you received a hot scoop, did you not? I think it's time you told us where that scoop came from. Tails, you're, you're right. Espio lied to me. Espio told me Shadow was locking doors to trap Sonic. But we found out Shadow was trying to keep me from discovering my birthday surprise. That scoop came from you, Espio? <laughs> no, of course not. Amy must have misheard me. Misheard you? Uh, yeah, yes, I said... Uh, Sonic's going to get trapped with all these locked doors. I was just looking out for my fellow passengers' safety. I didn't blame Shadow. I don't know, Espio. What? The evidence might not be airtight, but there's a lot being thrown at you that makes sense. I have to agree. You want us to believe you were lazily reading the whole time? While well, you were stationed in the room with a hidden passage. Yeah. And now you're lying to me? On my birthday? Of all days? I believe the murderer used the train's controls to move Sonic from the conductor car to the dining car. And lied to Amy casting further blame on Shadow for no other reason than to cause doubt and confusion. When examining everyone's alibis, one clearly stands out as the weakest. I believe it's clear to everyone that could it could only have been one person. It was you, SBO. But we get to do the Phoenix Wright uh, accusative. You were the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, Sonic's fine. Hey guys! Sonic, you're okay? S Sonic! And just as we solved the mystery, Espio was the murderer. Right. Espio jumped me in the conductor car. <laughs> Dang it, you got me. 
A blow dart, though? Really? It's non-lethal poison. He'll just be sleepy for a while. Great! I could use a nap. No, wait. There's something important. Espio left me there. Something important? I need everyone to listen. The train's a bad Nick. Sonic, are you feeling all right? Do, do you need to lie back down? No, 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 we all need to get off this train. We're not safe. But what? When I arrived at the conductor car, the conductor was already here. He was so excited to tell me about the fe all about the features of the train. But what he was telling me, I had a bad feeling. I asked to see the power source. The conductor hadn't even seen it. When we took a look, we realized the train's powered by a flicky. A flicky? The tiny animal? There's only one person twisted enough to use a flicky as a power source. Dr. Eggman. I told the conductor the train needed to be destroyed. He refused. The way the conductor was describing it, it's more than a simple badnik. It's the conductor's friend. The train is his co-conductor. You're not serious. They, uh, certainly didn't tell me that in the interview. Right as we saw the flicky, I felt a sting in my shoulder. It was the blow dart from Espio. Espio left. The lights in the room started to glow red. Hey, stop! What are you doing? I knew something was wrong and stood up. The arms came for me next. I spin-dashed right through the robot arm, sli sliced it off the rail it was on. Wow, I'm amazed he was able to do any of this poisoned. But another robot arm managed to grab me and pin me to the floor. Ah! The conductor screamed as the arms approached him, but I was hit quite a bit before it all got to me. Oh no. Everyone, I have something to admit. I murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, we already knew that. The situation has gotten so serious, why would you not just tell us? I thought that's how these murder games worked. You shoot someone with a blow dart, they die. Are you crazy? It's just a make-believe game, no one should get hit with a blow dart. I was just following the rules. See? Ooh. What is that? It says, Use this blow dart on Sonic stationed in the conductor car. It is laced with a non-lethal sleeping agent. Thank you again for choosing the Mirage Express staff. What is this? Instructions? I was given the blow dart along with that card. It's signed staff. Who gave this to you? Come to think of it... One of the robotic arms handed it to me. Hm. Weapons shouldn't be allowed on the train. What is the larger picture here? Who instructed those arms to attack? Who? Or what? Miles Prower, who do you think attacked Sonic and handed Espio the blow dart? I think it was the train itself. I believe something's been orchestrating things behind the scenes. Something wanted Sonic out of the picture, and for a good while. So I think the train itself is plotting something. First we learn the train's a bad Nick, and now it's out to get us? Once again, you keep saying the most ridiculous nonsense. 
You're seriously convinced the train has it out to get us? I don't know what the train's full intent is, but clearly it's been tampering in our murder mystery game. Train? Come out and show yourself! It, Amy? It's my birthday, and I don't need you messing with me! Amy's hitting the wall with her hammer. I'm with you, Amy. This train can have it. Come on, there's got to be another way to get the train's attention. What was that? Uh-oh, we went into lockdown. What did you two do? Is that the conductor? Mm -hmm. Here, I can get him down. Don't touch him. Is the train talking? Of course I can talk. You fools were too distracted playing your little game to figure it out. We were right, weren't we? What are you plotting? I'm taking all of you to Eggman's base. Where you will rot. Eggman? After I deliver your annoying party right to his egg fortress. Annoying? The conductor and I will be free to laugh and play games, ride the open rails, like we always planned. What are you... Enough. The train's picking up speed. Everyone grab something. Which one of these buttons turns the train off? Whoa! Sonic? Ha 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 Stay put until we arrive. Goodbye. Ah! Whoa! No, no! I can't keep my footing. Ah ha! Ah. Ugh, bunch of evidence has fallen out of my pockets. Ugh, ah. Uh, my head. Tails? Amy? Ah. Uh, is anyone here? Hello? Hello? No need to yell, bud. Sonic, I'm so sorry. Uh, are you okay? Hanging in there. It seems the train arms threw us back into the dining car. But where's everyone else? A great question. But for now, are you alright? Sonic the Hedgehog, asking about me? I'm doing amazing. <laughs> wow, amazing, huh? You might have to share a bit of that enthusiasm with me. I, uh, might have overcompensated there. Let's get our bearings and take a look around. Good idea. Lead the way. Hey, one of those robotic arms are here, too. Yeah, it swiped at me. Best to leave it alone. The train's definitely mad at us. Good call. We gotta get out of here before that arm swipes at us again. My goodness, this door is daunting. The train's doing everything it can to keep us from the conductor car. Let me see if a spin dash can't solve all our problems. Ah, it'll take more than a few hits to get through. Let's take it easy for now and keep looking around. There must be another way to open this door. Like a switch. Classic door opening mechanism. What doors are you using that require a switch? Aw, man. What what's wrong? The windows are all covered up now. I never got to got to look at the pretty views. Amy was saying the train sights couldn't be beat. I was excited. After all we've been through, I'm sure the train company will offer you some kind of coupon for another visit. That'd be great, as I still don't know where my wallet is. 
Um, that yellow glow is chilling. I miss it when, when it was just showing the weather. Well, that's better than the yellow glow, I guess. Hello? Hello? Anyone there? Why is no one responding to me? I miss the yellow glow already. You got some nerve showing up here, egghead. Oh, you spiky blue pest. Seems you've finally taken passage on one of my passenger tra- Wait, has Eggman been planning this for like ages and Sonic just never takes the fucking train? <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> you own this train? Who the heck are you? Don't talk to me. Ah, ignoring that. They certainly talk about you in my interview. My involvement isn't well known, civilian. The infrastructure in your towns was just... just wasn't cutting it. If I were to build Eggman land, these problems would need sorting out. So I courageously got involved. I converted some cargo trains into passenger trains for the sake of the public. It's just more useful for future schemes. <laughs> Let me guess. Another death egg, Dr. Predictable? The people fear giant spheres. It's science. <laughs> Let's cut to the chase. Where are our friends? Judging by my security cameras, your pathetic friends are all locked in the cars they were stationed in. Seems you managed to make the train quite upset. Did you not know this was happening? Heavens no, I'm only now getting caught up. I'm far too busy to notice what a passenger train is up to. You see, the capability of a badnik is normally very basic. Just kill Sonic the Hedgehog. But for a luxury train, I wanted to be sure things ran without my supervision, and report to me if any of you happened aboard. This train's capability of intellectual thought is extraordinary, a feat only accomplished by my genius. So this confirms it. The train really is sentient. Suffice to say, your capture is inevitable. You're on a train that desires nothing more than to deliver you all to me. See, I got to thinking. I needed to manufacture motivation beyond programming. I like to make my bad nicks compete against one another from time to time. It's good for productivity. So I instituted a bounty upon my army of bad nicks. First, to capture you pathetic creatures gets a generous reward. The train wants to deliver us to Eggman. For a reward? Most of my robots ask for something simple like my autograph or whatever, but a highly intelligent train? It may ask for something more... interesting. As much as I like rewards programs, are you done blabbering, Doc? You can never just win silently, can you? When you're dragged to my base, you'll regret the day you ever crossed me, Hedgehog. I already do. Get lost. Hehehe. <laughs> Chow. He always knows how to get under my skin. This is tough. The train has the motivation and being made by Eggman, it's no doubt powerful. Not to mention, we're all separated. What am I supposed to think? Train purpose purposely had Sonic knocked out so it could deliver us to Eggman. This whole time we were all in danger and I went along with it. Sonic was really hurt. The conductor's been captured. Should I have been more assertive earlier? Okay, I don't... Not really a choice here. Didn't try hard enough. Am I at fault here? Hey, I can tell this situation's getting to you. Oh, yeah, sorry, I, uh... I get it. The road's getting tough. It's easy to question the decisions that got you here. But when negative thoughts hit you, let it pass and keep living. I need you here helping me think through this before I do something rash. See, I'm one of those leap-before-you-think kind of guys. <laughs> okay, you're right. Let's keep moving forward and make things right. Breathe. Okay. We gotta get to the conductor's car before the train arrives at Eggman's base. The doors have been heavily fortified. How do we get through? Believe in yourself. 
No matter the obstacle, I know you have what it takes to figure it out. The entire day, Tails and I have been asking ourselves, what would Sonic do? So, what would you do? What would I do? Well, I'd speed through head on and rescue our friends by any means necessary. Here, stand back. Boom. Goodbye, door. Wow, with one big wind-up, Sonic's spin dash was fast enough to get the door open. Heh, <laughs> now that the road's clear, nothing can stop us. Better hold on to your pants! I don't think we'll be getting another break after this. Ready to go? Let's do it to it. That's the spirit. Let's go find our friends. To the conductor car to end this mystery. Oh, okay. All right. Our friends are locked in the cars ahead. In my last adventure, maxing out my ring count gave me an extra boost to speed. If I can grab enough rings, I should be fast enough to burst through the next door, too. Ready? Let's do this. Okay, so this is just gonna be like a... Oops. Oh, dang it. A lot of spikes on this one. Oh, how did that hit me? Ah. Missed it again. Okay, got it that time. Through the next door. Just wait till I see Eggman. I'm gonna clobber him! We gotta deal with the train first. Come on, let's go! Hmm. Yep, it's just a marathon run. You all came for us. Of course, but let's move! The train wants to take us prisoner and earn a reward. My reward is to get off this stupid train. Let's go. Sonic? It's about time. I thought you were supposed to be fast, Sonic. We gotta move. You two ready? Always. <laughs> Let's boogie. Locked Amy and Tails in the conductor's car. Say no more. Let's go.
Sonic! Sonic, you're here! Hey, this is no way to treat the birthday girl. You're right, I'm ready to stop this train. Time to finish this. Excellent work trapping these pests. Now hurry to me! I must properly dispose of them to begin my plans for Eggman Land. And probably another Death Egg. Teleport you all, oh, to the future, when I've already ruled the planet. Sure, I'll do that, whatever. Shut it, Eggman! Don't disappoint me, train. Hurry it up. I will not fail. My wish will be granted. Your wish? Oh, you mean the bounty. I don't care what you call it, just bring me those overgrown mammals. Grr, that Eggman! I must get my wish. I will not fail. This is it, everyone. Get ready. We're taking this thing down. Oh, boss fight. Ah. None of you could possibly understand. We promised to be together our whole lives. How could he just leave like it was nothing? Who do you mean? The conductor? He's retiring. You just have to accept that. My wish will keep us together forever. That's what being friends is all about. You can't force someone to be friends with you. That's messed up. Shut up. Just shut up. Eggman, Eggman, can you hear me? My wish, my wish, my wish. Make the conductor never leave me. Let us be friends forever. The kind of friends who would never leave each other. Why would he betray me? Conductor, you promised me, you promised. Let him speak, unhand him. Train, stop this. When I told you we'd be with each other forever, I was much younger man. I'm getting old. I'm tired. That voice definitely wasn't the same as earlier. Excuses, how dare you abandon me. I'll be lonely, so lonely. Why must you insist loneliness upon me? No, stop! What are you doing to me? Please don't make me do this! We have to rescue the conductor if we want to stop this train! Oh boy. Oops. 
Bonk. It's the Flicky. A Flicky? This is just like the lore card when my ex-best friend left detective work to join Dr. Eggman. So this really is a bad Nick. The stakes rise every second, huh? We gotta save him! On it. Let's show our full power. Ah, I'm missing all the rings. Oh, oof. The ring patterns on that one are a lot tougher than the lead up. Just, just be delivered to Eggman already. What about, what about my happiness? Your happiness comes at the expense of others. Last I checked, that's called being selfish. Me? Selfish? How, how dare you? Ooh, there's another one. Grab the flicky. It's over. Time to pay for ruining my birthday. Bonk. We we may have just killed a man. We'll uh deal with that in a moment. Oh, nope. No, no wait. he's catching Amy. Oh, okay, no, he's fine, apparently. The train is slowing down. Great hit, Amy. <laughs> it was pretty great, wasn't it? That's what you get when you mess with my special day. Conductor, ooh. Oh. I... I just couldn't bear to see you go. I'm sorry for the trouble. Blech. I think our work here is done. Now let's get off this thing. Thank you. Goodbye, my friend. I may be leaving the rails, but I assure you I'll never forget our time together. We did it! Well, I'll say I've never been on a train like that before. This universe has a unique way of doing things. Watch your step, watch your step. It's... it's over. 
The mystery of Sonic the Hedgehog's murder is officially over. Maybe next birthday we just ask Vanilla to make dinner. Oh, you don't love parties where by the end someone tries to kill you? I think I'm actually going to miss this group's unhinged way of thinking. Honey, you're late. I've been waiting here for hours. <laughs> you honestly, you'd honestly never believe what happened. So I won't even try. <laughs> I'm just glad you're here. Quick, we leave for Spagonia in the morning and you need to pack. Doesn't question that the train smashed in. Don't worry about that. I'll pack faster than the wind. I need this vacation something terrible. And I need you home. Happy first day of retirement, dear. Seems the conductor is more than ready to begin his retirement after this ordeal. I'm happy for them both. Oh, who's this? <laughs> An old friend, I think. Well, they're a cutie, that's for sure. Cheep, cheep, cheep. Seems that Flicky found a friend. Great job saving that little guy, Espio. It was the least I could do. Sonic, everyone, I sincerely apologize for the trouble I caused. Don't be. You were just following what you thought was the game. It's hard to know what I would have done in the same situation. I wouldn't have hit someone with a blow dart. Seriously, a dart? It would have been hard to get close to you otherwise, Mr. Speed of Sound. Regardless, I am sorry. We're cool. And now that we're all safe, it was fun! This group has a wild idea of fun. Boy, am I starving. I forgot we never ate. With all that clatter, I completely forgot I was hungry. Me too! I was distracted playing detective. If only you could have seen me, Sonic. I was finding clues, presenting evidence, poking holes in alibis. Sonic? Wait, where did he go? Everyone, guess what? The station has a bakery, and look what I bought. Ah, a birthday cake! Wow, they made a custom uh, Amy thing real quick. Happy birthday, Amy. To the confident, unshakable, and radiant Amy Rose. To an adventure of a birthday, darling. A memorable party every year. To a fun birthday. A ride from start to finish. May our friendship grow stronger each celebration. I admire your tenacity. May you never lose your vivacity. Happy birthday to Amy and her sparkling personacity. Happy birthday. I'm not smart enough to know if personacity is a word. We love you, Amy. Happy birthday. Ah, ah, you guys. We almost got murdered by a lonely train, but, but, I wouldn't trade these adventures for anything. Never in a million years. You guys won't ever leave me, right? Wouldn't dream of it. Now, let's have some cake. Yes, please. Dig in, everyone. Yay! I hope it's chocolate. That train's never making it here, is it? <laughs> oh my god. I love Metal Sonic and his little Let's Go Dad t-shirt. And his little flag, little party hat. Uh, is that the girl from the Newt from Sonic Frontiers? I don't actually know. I think it is, but either way, Metal Sonic is amazing. Um, print screen, I'm gonna need that, that uh, image for some purpose eventually. Orbot, prepare bath! The happy rubber duck or the angry one? Angry! Sour choice, your evilness. Shot it! Oh wait, are, are those the robots from Sonic Boom? 
Amazing. Or are they in other Sonic things? It's been a while. Or I don't know a ton of Sonic lore. And that's my story of when I met Sonic and his friends. Entangled in their lives for a fleeting moment and then back to things as they were. Cities realized Eggman was running the train system and fought back to seize control. Everything's squeaky clean now. As for me, I... Stuck with the gig. And then... Won millions in the lottery. And after all that, I... Now run a local supermarket. <laughs> yep, that's just been my life. That, that was a very... Very fun little game. Um, oh, absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, so anyway, thanks thanks for joining me to experience this. Um, I won't be streaming tomorrow. I'm going to be switching my schedule around a little bit. I plan to do um, Wednesday through Friday, 6 p.m., and then Saturdays, 1 p.m., at Eastern time for all of that, um, as I have been. So I'm going to take tomorrow off, uh, get ready to kind of switch gears to that mm, a new schedule. Other than that, yeah, thanks, thanks again for joining me. Uh, catch you later.